Good evening, everybody, and welcome inside the Zatzman Sportsplex here in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia for game number four here of the Nova Scotia U18 Major Playoffs. The Max lead the series 2-1 to one and can clinch the provincial championship here tonight. The Subarus trying to phase off elimination here and force a game five, if necessary, will be tomorrow night at 6.30 at the Forum, but we'll get to puck drop here in just a moment, joined once again by Steve Dixon. Steve, how are you feeling tonight? Feeling good, looking forward to a good game here. We've had a great series so far, and I think we'll uh, we'll have probably the best game of the series tonight. And let's hope that's the case here as we are officially underway, starting goaltender Sam Madgett for the Max. And Jackson Hurley here for the Subarus. Obviously the Max wearing their red jerseys and the Subarus wearing their baby blues as we're officially underway now. As McPhee hits a partner pass, up ice, go the Subarus. Nice one-touch pass there through the middle. Brady Burke, the top scorer here. For the Subarus in the playoffs, and all their scores at the top are tied with eight points, so spread out offense here for the Subarus as they get a little bit of offensive zone pressure here to start the game. Captain Wagner now will slip that down to Walters. Walters, in my opinion, probably had the best game of the last game for as far as individual play. We'll see if he can continue that here today as the Max set up behind their own net. Outlet pass there through the middle, looking for Marmalock, unable to control as Walters comes through. He'll pick it up. Now Wagner gets a good piece of his man now as the Max will get it in deep. That'll get Hurley his first touch of the game now as Mokriakov up the ice there. Sorry, that was Prince. Now it's in deep, Creelman. Remember around the other side looking for Schlender. Schlender able to get that puck through the middle. Now it's back the other way for Proctor. Proctor just inside his own blue line. He'll chip it off the wall as he takes a bump there. Got the best of Stevens now as Owen O'Donnell's gonna walk in shot there. Magic let that one go up over the net. He tried to make the catch but wasn't able to corral it. And now back the other way goes Proctor. Dumped in deep, Schlender on the chase. Kavanaugh there first here for the Subarus as now the Max are gonna take possession. Lindsay, goal scorer in last game, got the Max on the board. He's able to hold the puck inside the lines. He tries to chip it deep. Now he does Proctor out front. It's gonna make its way all the way back to the point. Creelman shot there, that goes up off the glass. As now Schlender in the defensive slot there, staying back for Lindsay. Is Lindsay back to possession now, or position rather. And we got our arm in the air here. Our first penalty coming to the Max. As O'Donnell now tried to pull it back to the middle and he had that poked off his stick. So we're gonna have the first power play of the game early on in this one. And it's gonna be Luke Legier. Yeah, one of those plays you get your, your stick there in the, in the player's feet. So easy call for the refs. And uh, you know, I thought the refs did a good job last game letting them play. And you know, uh, plays like that, you're gonna see them make that call every time. Yeah, those calls pretty much call themselves for the most part. Intentional or not, the stick in the feet, and the player goes down, it's gonna be a penalty about 90% of the time. Now as the Max try and clear, they aren't able to get it by McPhee at the point, so he'll slot it back to Prince. Prince over to the right side for O'Donnell. Backdoor pass, and they try to get that one off quick. Trying to catch the goaltender Magid off guard now as they'll win that puck battle in behind. Partner pass across for Aiden O'Donnell at the right point. It's gonna slow things down now. He'll walk towards the top of the circle, down low. O'Donnell shot there as a save there from Madges. He got a shoulder on that one as the rebound comes loose. Now back to the point for Prince, right side. Over into the middle, one time shot there, big save. Madge rebound, shot, oh, what a block there. Wagner showing some leadership there as he sacrifices the body and those ones hurt Steve up in the chest area. Not a whole lot of protection up there. Yeah, a heavy shot too. 
And he took it like a champ and went for a change, so that puck will exit the zone. And behind their own net now is Max causing a little bit of a stir down there in front of the net. Now Mackinnon turns it over to Walters. Walters in on Prince, getting his stick caught up in there. Now he's going to have to be careful. Already down a man here. Minute even left to go in the power play. As Walters just down there causing complete havoc inside the Subaru zone now. But Mackinnon able to pick the puck up with some speed as he's going to head north. Outlet pass up the left side. McQueen will dump that in. Nolan Stevens looking for his options. He's going to let it go all the way around for Countway. Countway over to his partner. Shot there. They're looking for the tip. Now the rebound comes loose as those active end wall allow that puck to bounce right back out. Now as Walters will pick it up. He didn't have a pass, so he's going to get that down the ice as him and Hartland head for a change. So back goes Countway here for the Subarus. He'll wheel him behind his own net. Good head of steam now, the captain. Down through the middle of the ice. He's going to walk right down Broadway now. He's going to slow things up. Trying to get the power play set up. Tried to force a pass through the middle. Looks like Lindsay got a stick on it, so the puck will get cleared now. 15 seconds left to go in the man advantage. And in behind their own net here, looking to get set up here. Maybe one last final rush as outlet pass there for Countway. Five seconds left to go. Dumped in. Magic's going to flick that off the end wall. Good four check down there is Sanford. And now we're back to even strength. So 0 for 1 on the power play are the Subarus. Now another shot there was saved and good pressure maintained here by the Subarus even after the penalty expired. They stayed inside the zone and behind. LeBlanc looking for his options. He's gonna work around, good wide stance there as he protected himself there from foot. Faustin, he's gonna take a little bit of a bump there. Good job by Bolts to kind of ease off there as he had numbers and no stop signs on these U18 jerseys but they've been in the game long enough to understand and Subarus have a stop sign, but I guess the Max don't here. So once again, I stand correct. But we're going to have a whistle here. So pretty good pace to start the first period here, Stephen. A much better start here for the Subarus. Yeah, they want to come out hard here, uh, you know, down 2-1. They're going to throw everything at them. And oh, a good start for Darkness. We've got some good zone time here. And uh, nice little power play and a good kill by Halifax as well. So it was a good, uh, good start to the game. That's what I was just going to say. A penalty kill sometimes at the start of the game will help get you back into the game or into the rhythm of things, especially if you do kill it off. Now it's a stretch pass up the middle. Marmalock in behind the D. Shot there. Hurley the save. Rebound shot. They score. Luke Dooley following in the trailer. Picks up the loose puck. And he's going to get the max on the board. And looks like, Steve, he's going to get the monkey off his back there as well as we've seen that celebration before but nonetheless a one to nothing lead here for the max with 15 24 left to go in the first yeah an excellent uh an excellent stretch pass there nice little saucer pass good pickup by marmaluck and uh a great follow-up by dooley getting that second chance we talk about a lot and, and a nice finish and that other thing we talk about is that timing of it right it's easy to, to crash that net hard but you kind of want to ease off a little bit as you see that play unfold and get yourself in there and you know, not overskate the puck, I guess, is essentially my point. And Dooley did a great job there as he found that. Good and play by uh, Marmaluk as well, staying on side. Absolutely, yeah. And that's one of those ones with the puck in the air like that. It's tough to read, but he does a good job there. And that's going to be another point for Marmaluk. He'll pick up his 15th point of the playoffs. And now we'll put him in sole possession of first place in the points here in the playoffs so far. Subarus off the glass and out. Outlet pass for Schlender through his legs. Use a Chukwu to knock him down now. As Mackinnon bumps into Creelman. Now use a Chukwu one on one down the left side. He's just going to fire it there. Nice save by Magit. Nice and calm and collected as he just pushes that rebound into the corner. Out into the neutral ice now. Proctor one on two. He's just going to fire that towards the net up over the head of Hurley. Now Countway is going to get on it here as he chips it up over the head of Burke. Max had to be careful at the bench there. Almost got caught with too many men, but able to get that man off in time as Wagner fires an outlet pass. Cross ice for Hartland. Hartland fires it back to the D and over to Wing Wagner they go on the left side. As he'll get that red line and a cross corner dump. But a good read there. Mokriakov goes back the other way, but he had Hartland there. So good press there from the Max on both sides. Up the left side. Good pass there. O'Donnell able to take that pass on the backhand. He dodges a hit to Burke. Burke tries to center. Hits the skates of True. And now out front. Opportunity. Mokriakov shot there. Magic. Got a whole bunch of traffic in front, but he's able to find that puck, it looks like. It stays out of the net, so nothing's going to come of that. But complete mayhem in front of the net there and a good bounce back shift here from the Subarus. Yeah, some good pressure by Darkmouth. But uh, I think we're seeing both teams trying to get the puck on the net a little more here. You know, they don't have a play. They just want to get it on there, which, uh, which is never a bad play. No, especially the Subarus finishing the last game. Both their goals were off shots from a distance and just crashing the net hard. And so they want to try and continue those things. Now is always a shot there from Stevens. is an absolute laser. And he fired that one up off the dinger, as they call it. So Magic going to give his 
post, a little bit of a tap there, and his good buddies down there, the iron, kept that one open. What a shot from Stevens as he surprised everybody, including us up here in the booth with that rip right off the faceoff. Yeah, nice quick release. Turner's gonna take that off the faceoff. He's gonna slot his way back into the lineup now today after missing game three. It's Evans, a goal scorer for the Subarus. He got them on the board in the third period yesterday, or sorry, Thursday. Now the outlet pass for Hines. Hines tried to fire that back the other side. Shear came across in support, but the puck will get away from him now as it's poked away. Now potential odd man rush back the other way. Shear stick caught in the gear. Two on one, Evans shot there, and Magic flashing the leather here early as Evans and Foot get tangled up down there. And they're going to see a little bit of bad blood right off the bat here. The Max know that they can end things tonight, and the Subaru's just trying to do everything in their power to live another day here. Yeah, and these two teams have played each other a lot, very familiar with each other, so sure things will uh, get heated as the game goes on. Yep, the old battle of the bridges once again here at the Zatzman Sportsplex. Another good crowd on hand. A lot less orange seats than we're used to seeing up here. So another good support here even with the Mooseheads being in town tonight. But this is, I guess, arguably the second best hockey in town depending on how you look at it. Maybe the best as we're turnover inside the zone. And it's just going to be soft chipped out into the neutral zone now as Manders with it. Manders, full beard here for the Subarus. It's chipped down the ice, they get a piece of it, so it's able to get down inside the zone without icing. Magic comes out to play it, Marmalock able to get a piece of it, but wasn't able to maintain possession as it's chipped back down inside the zone. Sanford's just gonna fire that back towards the net. Now they push it back through the neutral zone. Now through the middle, Dooley, the goal scorer here, down the right side, makes a nice move, but runs into the defender. And that's gonna be chipped down the ice. And not enough for icing. So back up the other way now. The stretch pass off the stick of the max. They're going to get a piece of that just enough to negate the icing. Now as Subarus get broken out of their own zone. Up the ice now Mokriakov. Up the left side for Mackinen. Mackinen one hand on the stick. Chips it in. Takes a bump there. And the Max are able to pick up the puck now as Wagner makes his way out of the zone. Wagner. Good patience. Now he'll go up the left side for Proctor. Countway jumped right up there. And in the trolley tracks was Proctor. So he had to slam the brakes on. Inside the zone now, another dump in here by the Max. They're going to try and get in here behind. 12.07 left to go here in the first period. One to nothing lead off the stick of Dooley for the Max as they press here offensively. Now as Countway will scoop that out of harm's way. Now as Mokriak off, off the glass. Mackinen unable to corral it, so it's going to come out to the neutral zone. Truen with it. He'll just dump it back in. Hurley had to hustle over the net there, bounced over his stick. Schlender bumps into Mokriak off. Legier in there as well. Schlender and Mokriak off reconvene. Now Schlender's going to win that puck battle. Stick lift there. McQueen able to get that puck pushed free. Stays inside the zone. Good job by the Subarus there. Three blue jerseys on one red jersey, and that's the name of the game if you're trying to get puck possession as that's pushed out into the neutral zone just inside the Mac zone. Cleared out. Held in here. Use the two. Cool. We'll get it in deep. Mack and it'll give chase as well as foot here for the Max as he reversed it back the other way. He felt the pressure coming from Mack. And now a shot there as Magit looked like he was trying to keep the sun out of his eyes there in center field and to kind of dip down and hit him in the pad. Another opportunity, Mack and inside the net, in behind. He's run into the end wall by foot. Good battle down there. And now a wrestling match in behind. And referees just going to go there and kind of give them each a talking to. No arm up as of yet. So Subaru's McPhee able to get that out. And O'Donnell didn't see Mack and coming late. And they're going to be offside. So... 10.56 left to go here. Back and forth action, Steve, in this one in a much more, I guess, accelerated, faster start than game three. Yeah, it looks like both teams came to play here today in the first, and I think we expected that here being the, being the fourth game. But, uh, yeah, both a both, uh, good start from both teams here, and, and uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll see that here moving forward. So the Subarus will take it off the faceoff. Now O'Donnell, a little more pep in his step in this game so far. He, Doing the, all the right things down there. He's just not able to find the puck offensively for the most part. Or even though he has eight points, it just, you know, when a guy with, of that stature, you expect maybe a few more points. But he's got some pep in his step here tonight. He's flying. And back around. Puck's going to be held in by the Max here. Shot there through a crowd. Opportunity shot. Hartland there, and he just missed wide. As that one goes to the right side, Chip will fire it back for Wagner. Wagner fires it wide now for Truen. Truen through the middle looking for the stick of Walters and unable to connect there. The puck goes back up to the left side of the point. Now dumped back in by Wagner as he retreats through the middle. Off the skates of Burke there and a sloppy pass. And back the other way go the Max. Wagner had a hard time with it but was able to chip it in deep. And now the Subarus are going to come away with it. Chipped off the wall. Burke able to get that puck outside the zone just past Marmaluk. 
Struan goes back for it now inside his own zone. Stretch pass up the right side for Hartland. Hartland tried to get a piece of it to get it in deep, but didn't quite get enough on it. So it's an indirect pass now. Stevens chipped off the wall. Evans got a two on one now. Evans tries to center, but ran out of real estate. So now he's going to duck under Wagner. Good job there to protect the puck. Back up to the left point. Shot there. Hit escape. Puck comes loose. Back up to the right point, Manders. Manders will fire it back down low. O'Donnell over to the left side point. Shot there. That bounced off the end wall. Oh, front Ooh. into the slot there. Evans right on the doorstep. Unable to find the puck, excuse me. Because that's going to be dumped down the ice, but that is going to go down on the goaltender, Hurley, so no icing. Manders had to hurry as he had a man on him. Stretch pass once again. O'Donnell in over the line, looking for his options. Stevens into the middle of the ice, shot there, and had to hurry as Marmalock was back defensively on his behind there, and he gets a shot off, but it goes over the net now as Evans will work that out of the corner. Back to the point. Ryakov gets it in deep, and behind the net now, Owen O'Donnell. Down low for Evans, tries to center for Stevens. It's blocked along the way by Lindsay. Now as Stevens able to pull that off the... Half wall there, and now he's being pressed hard. Dooley, nice pass there, a blind pass. Ended up working out real good as it went down to Schlender. Schlender, the old pull and drag and shot. Or sorry, that's Shearer. The fish bubble. Fish bowl will get you every time. Two right-handed shots. We're in at 15 and 16, so that's an honest mistake. Now as LeBlanc turned it over. Shot there. Ooh. Magic made the save. The rebound comes loose. He sticks out the left pad. Puck still loose. Had a hard time with that original shot, but the puck does stay out of the net. As now LeBlanc will run Hines over. So that puck stays inside the blue line. 8.20 left to go here in the first period. They chip it outside the zone now. Hines giving chase. Partner pass there, kind of a sloppy pass there. It's turned over by Shear, but the puck does exit the zone now as it goes back just inside the max blue line. Up the ice, Shear got a stick on it. Mokriakov turned it over. Turner had that bounce over his stick. So the puck bouncing around a little bit out here in this one with 7.50 left to go here in the first. Countway going to partner that across. Up the ice, Prince trying to hit a stick there through the middle. They are able to get a puck on, or a stick on as that goes inside the zone. Magic plays it for Foot. Foot has got some time as the outlet pass up for Schlender. Bounced off his stick, McQueen on him. Schlender will lean on his man now as he tries to poke that puck free. He does get it inside the zone. Now is Kavanaugh, cross for McPhee. McPhee through the middle, tape to tape there for McQueen. McQueen, nice under the stick move. He's gonna have a step on the backhand. Shot there. It's in behind Magic, it's still loose. Now puck right there as the Referee right on sight, and that one got through Magic again, and never a good sign when you look behind you off the shot. We're gonna have another Max penalty coming here, or no, it's gonna go to the Subarus, as Tucker Mackinnon will be penalized here for holding after two glorious chances for the Subarus. Magic looking behind him a little bit, but able to make the save. Yeah, Magic's made some big saves here for Halifax so far, and you know, quick turn of events like that. Nice nice save there, and then uh, now, now their team's on the power play, so. That's how quick things can turn, uh, you know, that, that sneaks by him. A uh, little different sequence, but no, he's been standing real tall down there. Yeah, and Magic supporting a 2.235 goals against average and a 918 save percentage, so pretty good numbers for the goaltender. And if you're trying to put on a championship run, that's definitely good numbers to help. So proving his worth here so far in the first period as that puck will get down inside the max zone. And the Max look to get broken out here as they start on the power play. Marmaluk to the left side for Lindsay. Lindsay's gonna work down inside the zone as he cuts back now and good back pressure there from Stevens as he read that pass and he was able to pick that up and clear it. So the Max will have to head back and get the power play breakout started here once again as Faustin goes back. And behind his own net, Legere swoops Marmaluk as well as Lindsay. So players in motion here, lots of options, but they're just gonna chip that in deep, bouncing puck onto Hurley and he's just gonna grab onto that and cover it up with three red jerseys coming into the top of the crease here. So one nothing lead here for the Max. 117 left to go in the man advantage and six and a half minutes left to go here in the first period and an opportunity for the Max to double down on their lead here in game four. Yeah, and a big point of the game here for both teams. Max, obviously they can get another one, but uh, it'll be a big kill here for Darkman. Massive kill even and Boston will set things up at the top of the point. Over down the left side, looking for a stick back door as Marmalock will get on that loose puck. Back up to the point, had a hard time with that, and so the puck has exited the zone, and the Max are gonna have to regroup here as they all get outside into the neutral zone now. Marmaluk didn't have a lane through the net. The Subarus, great job, straight line right across the blue line as they force the Max to dump here, but they're gonna pick up that loose puck, and now it's gonna be held in by Faustin. Good reflexes there now as they will get outside the zone now as Manders has a few words for Marmaluk down there as he'll head for a change, and Good job so far here on the penalty kill by the Subarus. 40 seconds left to go. Evans will slot in as F1 in behind the net now. 
Walters, he's just gonna leave it there for Truen. Truen will pick it up here with full speed. He'll work right down the middle of the ice. Evans is gonna press now as they're gonna get that in over the red line and get it in deep. Walters rims it around the other side. Good job there as he pushed the pressure over to the other side and gave themselves a little bit more room now as Chip up to the top point. Truen back to Chip. Chip in the middle of the ice shot there. Or deflection now back out. Truen had a hard time with it. Subaru's in the lane, another block there. Gets through the feet, Chip tries to go back door. It does find them. Ooh. And a great block there from Stevens down to two knees like a road hockey goalie and he stops that one from going anywhere near the net. The Max able to hold the zone. Ooh. Chip shot there. Looks like it hit the side of the mask there of Hurley. Doesn't matter how you stop, it just matters that you do. As Mackinnon's out of the box now, we're back to even strength there and a shot, they score! Daniel Walters as the penalty expires finds a loose puck and the Max take a two to nothing lead here in the first period. Yeah, it was a good uh, good penalty kill there by Dartmouth, but uh, you know, Halifax was able to get a loose puck there as the penalty was was coming to an end. And uh, yeah, Walter seems to be all over the ice here and made a nice little, uh, nice finish with the backhand, which is never an easy shot. Yeah, Walter's a guy we've said his name quite a bit and it's not because he's your favorite player, he's just because he's all over the ice and puck tenacity was the big, uh, I guess success there for the Max as they were able to just stay on that loose puck and just never give up here. So a little bit of a taller hill to climb here for the Subarus, but lots of hockey to be played here and no reason to panic just yet as they've had a much better start to this game. So definitely probably feeling a little bit better about their start than the last one, but 4.45 left to go here in the first period of goal for the Subarus late in this first period before the second would really go well. It's Truins back for it. Gonna take his time, didn't have an options clearly, so he chips it up off the glass. Turner able to come through and support as he picked that up. In over the line, Hines stays on side, shot there. That goes blocker side, but high. Wagner will step in, he'll keep the puck in. Good job by Shearer to slot back. It's good recognition down there. You see the D-man pinch down, someone's got to cover for him or it's an automatic odd man rush the other way. Now as the puck will get outside the zone, but albeit not for long, as McPhee able to find that puck. Kavanaugh slows things down, he's got Legier on him. Now a cross ice pass, almost picked off by Shearer. And now he'll just throw a late hit in behind now is Magid. He'll play that puck there for Wagner. Wagner, it's gonna work out. Good job, head up the entire way, looking for his options through the middle. Legier through traffic down the right side. He's gonna have a step there on Prince, but Prince does a great job to get back and take away his space and force him into the corner. 3.50 left to go here in the first. Down underneath, Schlender looking for that loose puck. Held in at the zone here by Legier. Legier back to Lindsay. Lindsay one touch pass across to Creelman. Creelman into the ice for Legier. Legier shot there, tipped. The rebound comes loose, it's in the slot. Back to the right side, left side point, Lindsay. Shot there, looking for a redirection at the side of the net. That was visible here from up here where we are. As now Sanford tried to eat it up against the wall. Two red jerseys on him. Now it's gonna be chipped out into the neutral zone. And back for it is Lindsay for the max here. So 3.20 left to go, Lindsay in behind the net. Sanford, good job to angle him. He forced him back in there, so Sanford's able to get a change now as Yuzuchuku jumps in. Good exchange there, now back return pass. Walters, let it go, maybe not intentionally, but the puck goes by and into the Subaru's bench. So we're gonna have a whistle and a faceoff just outside, and the back and forth play continues here, Steve, but it's been a while since the Subarus were able to get a shot. Time to get some pucks to the net here to finish the period. Yeah, they just they got to figure out how to beat, uh, beat Magic here, but uh, you know, Halifax obviously, ha obviously happy here with the Two goal lead, but Darkness had their chances as well. Nice, uh, you know, shot off the crossbar, a couple other close ones. So, you know, they just got to stick with it. Yeah, so the Max definitely not getting too comfortable. They know what this other team can do on the offensive side of things. So they're just going to keep pushing here. So, you know, they're not sitting in cruise control just yet. As Countway is able to hold the zone. He's a true cool. We'll chip that down low. Mackin' in, looking for that loose puck. Now Marmaluck will pick it up on the right side. He's going to swing back in his own zone. Foot will peel back in behind. He's gonna work in behind his own net now. Max look to just hold the puck now. His good job there coming up underneath was foot. Now a pass to the left side for Walters. Walters will get a stick on it and he'll get it in deep and head for a change. In behind their own net now. Mokriakov looking for his options, slid it into the middle. McQueen over the line, cuts to the left side, tries to slide it underneath there, good idea. Now puck comes to Mackinnon and kind of surprised him there as originally it got poked away. Now is Dooley with it. He's gonna swing it back to his D-man. Now a stretch pass all the way up the ice. Marmalock unable to control it. Mokriakov now, nice pass there through the middle and O'Donnell not able to handle it there on the backhand there. Faustin tried to go back to the D but that lane was taken away so he's just gonna get the red line, get it deep. Two minutes even left to go here in the first period. Mokriakov now spins off a hit from Chip up the right side. A good outlet pass for Stevens. Stevens up ice. 
Now down the left side and over the blue line, looking for a stick there in front, and that one just goes wide as Stevens now will turn and fire that towards the net. Truin for the max, finds Hartland on the right side. Another good outlet pass there as he's going to try and go cross ice. Chip just left a little bit too early. The puck won't go down for icing. It's McPhee back for it. Chip on him. He reverses it back the other way. Got to hurry here. And now a fortunate bounce here for the Subarus. That one landed right on the stick. They try and center it for O'Donnell, but that's picked off here once again as the Max clog in the neutral zone here in the first period. It's back the other way. Partner pass over for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's going to fire it up ice there. Stevens able to get a stick on it, chip it up and over as Magic comes out to play for it. He faked to the backhand and fired it up the right-hand side. Now as Hines takes a bump, O'Donnell tried to chip it to himself. Wasn't able to get free. Now Hines was pressed there, so he's just going to chip that out into the neutral zone. Up the left side, Aiden O'Donnell through the middle. Manders coming through from the defensive position. Now is Wagner going to be run into the wall there, and we're in the last minute of play here in the first period. It's the Max chip it out. That's going to be by Burke. Back forward is Prince just inside his own blue line as he circles in underneath the bottom of the circle. Shearer will force him in behind the net, and he'll ease off. As Burke now fires that cross ice onto the stick of, o of Brennan O'Donnell. He wasn't able to fully corral that one as he runs Truen into the wall. Truen turned around and asked the ref how that wasn't a penalty. Smoke react off now over the left side half wall, walking in, back door opportunity, and maybe kind of looked like O'Donnell surprised him a bit there. Now his Countway's going to fire through a crowd there. That's blocked by Truen. Shearer, another great dump. He's been a master at the dump here so far as Hines is going to run into Countway there. Countway, no stranger to the physical stuff as we're down to 15 seconds here. Maybe one last stretch and opportunity for the Subarus here to finish the first period. O'Donnell. Had a hard time with that now as he's going to swing back. He's just going to fire it up the left side. It's going to be down the ice for icing. And 4.7 seconds left. The Max are going to get an offensive zone pa or power play. Face off to finish off the first period. So just enough time, Steve, to potentially get one to the net and bang home a rebound. But definitely tough to do. Yeah, I'm sure they'll try to set something up here. Maybe a quick strike play. But uh, yeah, we got 4.7 left. So there's enough time to get a shot away. Good job on the on the face off there. Now as they tie up a shot oh. there, and that one gets onto the net. And just like we said, Steve, plenty of time to get a shot off. They do, but Hurley with a big last second save, and that yeah. will do it here for the first 20. 20 minutes coming on, two nothing lead here for the Max. We'll be back with second period action when we return. So don't go anywhere.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Zatzman Sportsplex. Second period just about underway. The Max with a two to nothing lead heading into the second period. Both goaltenders in their nets. Creases all scratched up and ready to go. As it looks like now, we're gonna have a goalie switch for the Subarus as Brandon Lavoie will make an appearance here for the Subaru. So maybe Coach Marty King playing a hunch down there as we're just about underway. Steve looking for a better or a similar start to this period as we had in the first period. Yeah, Dartmouth came out strong there at the beginning of the game and a uh, little goalie switch here, so they're gonna look to get a little momentum. As Walters now turn that puck over, he'll lean on his man, and sometimes that's all it takes is uh, just one switch of the game to change your fortunes. Nothing against Hurley as he played well enough to stay in, but you know, we're not the coaches, we're just a couple schmucks up here at the end of our careers talking about the game, and we're gonna have our first whistle here in the second period. Looks like it's gonna be, not sure if it was a hand pass or not, but I'd like to give a shout out to our good buddy even Ian Haverstock sitting down after a long day at the rink, tuning in here, and that's one of the beauty parts about having the streams these days is being able to watch it from the comfort of your own home, so thanks for tuning in, Havy. We look forward to bringing you here the final two periods. I think for Halifax here, they get the two goal lead, and Last two games they've been playing great in the neutral zone here, slowing them up and uh, Darkman's gonna look to get some good speed through the neutral zone here and get some get some good attacks, try to get some odd man rushes. Yeah, you gotta tr try and penetrate those tough areas and you know, they are doing a good job of stretching that puck out and getting a stick on it on the other side of the red line to get rid of those icings. But after that, you kinda gotta get in there on the four check as you're just allowing them to get it back. But a good job by the Max too. They slot back when that puck gets dumped up. The weak side D-man goes back into the zone to get the puck and they Looks like they're ready for whatever's being thrown at them here, but a big start here for the Subarus is definitely needed. Get one early and get right back to work as they're gonna take that face off. Macking it up to Kavanaugh at the point. Shot there, that was tip. Magic looking for it. He's, he's kind of swings around in desperation, unaware where the puck was, but if I'm looking at the goalie, I'd rather him make that motion with the puck nowhere near than kind of standing around looking for it there. So face off is gonna come outside now as that puck was off the Subaru stick. Aiden O'Donnell doesn't look like he agrees with that call, but. They will get the right side of the red line, I guess as a bonus or a positive, as Schlender and O'Donnell get tangled up there on the half wall. Kareelman just gonna chip that up into the neutral zone now as Kavanaugh's gonna take it. He left it there for Countway. Countway up the right side there for Burke. Burke able to tip that in deep. Now as O'Donnell is gonna get in on the four check just as we were talking about now as Lindsay's able to get by those. Those three blue jerseys got caught low. Kavanaugh takes a bump there as him and Legier tangle up, but the puck's gonna get inside the Subaru zone, or sorry, the Max zone. They switch sides, duh. As O'Donnell now, he's gonna come back to help out defensively, holds the puck inside the zone, but now back the other way goes Schlender. Two on three, he's gonna chip it by Kavanaugh, he's gonna get in on the chase now as Countway in on him as well. Schlender didn't ease off one bit now as he turned that over, but Countway's gonna find the puck now, he's gonna have some space. Countway up the left side through the neutral zone, gets the red line, he'll chip it in deep, good soft chip, give his team the maximum amount of time here to get a change and slow things down down there as that cross ice pass for Legier chipped off into the neutral zone. It'll get by as Proctor got a piece on it, but good job by Prince to come back in and help out as he's got Hartland on him. Hartland funnels him out the left side as up the ice goes Prince. Lots of room through the neutral zone now. Stretch pass for O'Donnell. O'Donnell shot there and Magic able to cover that one up in the five hole and hang on that beautiful Halifax Moosehead stick down there as he's played a few games with the Moose this year, and that's gonna give your team a little bit of confidence down there, and now flaunting that gray, or gray, the green stick, as we said, as he makes another save. Yeah, it's always a great experience for the kids to get up and, whether it's Junior A or the Moose Heads, get up and get a little taste of it and bring it back down to their, uh, their midget teams here. And I know from my playing experience, just that one call up to Junior A from U18 was kind of meant the world to you and, and like you said a really cool experience and something that you kind of take with you forever and you don't really forget your first opportunity and so nice to see him back in the league I'm sure he would have liked to stay but those are the circumstances we're in and I'm sure he'll get a another look next season but for right now he's trying to win a provincial championship here in the U18 league and that'll certainly bode well for his status next season as the faceoff comes outside the zone LeBlanc ties up Faustin partner pass back for foot foot through the middle chip able to chip it in Mokriakov now back for it. He's being pressed from both sides there. Double four check now for the Max. They chip it inside. Subaru Sanford trying to help Bo. Chip is going to clog that wall lane. Mokriakov now flips it over to Countway. Countway through the middle. Just off the stick of Sanford. Icing waved off as that was touched along the way. Sanford's going to get in there on the four check. Faustin takes a bump. Good hit to contain there from Sanford as they're going to come away with that puck. LeBlanc try to go back door. O'Donnell, or sorry, LeBlanc was backdoor. 
timed it as if the puck were to get there in time, but just got slowed up along the way. So Chip's gonna find it out through the neutral zone. He's got Hartland with him. Good job by Hartland to eat ice. Now cross ice pass. Marmalock tried to go back and great defensive play by Mokriakov as he slid along. Now as a pass through the crease and now we're gonna have a penalty and it looks like it's gonna go to the Subarus here and I hope so anyway as Magic was on his way out of the net. So Mokriakov is gonna be penalized here. We're gonna see what the call is. It's gonna be an interference call. So back to the power play, go the max. 0 for 1 so far on the power play, but they scored right at the end of it. Yeah, and that's the fun thing with this level we were talking about, uh, Magic there with the Moose says, but I mean, a lot of these kids will be down watching them at the Scotia Bank Center, whether it's with or against the Mooseheads next year. So it's a, you know exciting time for a lot of these guys, especially the hometown too. Right, you got the Halifax on your jersey here, and then you stay with the hometown team. It's always nice, a little extra excitement. It's the Max start on the power play here. Boston into the middle. Thought he had a lane to shoot, but the Subarus closed it down. It's Legier, good footwork there. Now as he walks through, that goes up and over Lavoie's glove and off the glass as. Now the Subarus are going to make no mistake sending that one the length of the ice. So Magic out to play it here. As now, ooh, a fort weird bounce there. And luckily no Subarus were on scene just yet. So no harm done now as Boston up the right side for Legier. Legier will make his way through the neutral zone. He's going to chip and chase now as Prince goes back for the Subarus. He takes a bump there from Schlender. Puck retrieved by the Max and up to the right side for the point. Marmalock, left side. He's going to chip it down low for Legier. Legier. Gonna fire back down from Armalock. Good exchange there. Now as he tried to center, puck still loose. So front, Schlender whacked at it. It's gonna be cleared, but not out. As Faustin able to get there in time to hold the zone. 55 seconds left to go in the man advantage. As Faustin walks the middle, shot there. That got a piece of Lavoie as he fought through a crowd there. Good save by Lavoie there. Now it's chipped down deep. Schlender on that puck. Just gonna swoop it over to Marmalock. Marmalock takes a bump and leaves it there for Legier. Legier up to the left point for Faustin. Faustin walks to the middle once again. Now back to the right side for Legier. Legier, shot there, what a block, Mackinnon. Fearless block off the inside of the skate. And that one you'll feel once you take the skate off, but probably won't feel it for the first little bit. Now as they try and go back door, another block, Mackinnon able to pick that puck up. Good recognition now, he's got a forward playing defense, trying to make a move now, good job. Three on one here for the Subaru, shorthanded shot there. And Madgett able to make the glove save, and Manders looks skyward there, Steve. A three on one and a shot into the glove. You gotta at least maybe try and get a rebound there, or maybe he saw something different than we saw from up here, but a three on one shorthand, it was a great chance and they weren't able to come up with a goal. Yeah, and a good shift there for Mackinnon on the kill, nice block and uh, pushing the pace back the other way and uh, you know, that's what you're looking for on the penalty kill, There's a lot of sacrifice. And Mackinnon, no stranger to the sacrifice there is, like I said, once you get that puck back, that feeling in your foot from the block shot just kind of goes away once you get an opportunity. As we are down to the final two seconds here of the power play, and that will officially do it now as we're back to even strength. 0 for 2 on the power play are the Max. Great kill there by the Subarus. Now it's time to get to work offensively here as kind of build off that momentum. And, you know, this game's built for little momentums like that and little areas where you can build the momentum. Said momentum a bunch there, but it's going to get inside the zone. Shear is going to get in on the forecheck as he does. Now Turner turns it over, shot there, tried to go into the feet and didn't have much, so not a bad play there. Tried to sneak one in as that's dumped out of the zone. Truen, got caught going the other way, so it'll go down inside the zone. Aiden O'Donnell's gonna get in on him. There's Brennan O'Donnell down there as well. He'll work in behind, he's tripped up, play continues. And back the other way go the Max, three Subarus caught down low, a four on two forming here. Good job by Shear to get in behind. He wasn't able to complete the pass. So it's rimmed around the other side, Walters. Joins the party from the bench now as Hines turned it over. He's gonna walk into the high slot there. Shot, rebound comes loose. It's gonna be whacked down the ice and that's gonna go just to the left of Magic. And that's gonna be an icing here. So Subaru's not gonna be able to change and their faceoff's gonna come back down inside their own zone. And not a bad start to the second period here as we are just over five minutes into this one and a real good pace of play once again here, Steve. Yeah, and Lavoie comes in. It's never easy coming in after, uh, you know, sitting on the bench for a period, but he came in here, did a nice job so far. Got his eyes on some pucks from Oak Far and uh, was able to make the save. Yeah, like you said, not easy to come in off the bench as O'Donnell's back the other way. Two on two now. Brennan O'Donnell with him. Tries to force a pass there. It's going to go back to the point, but Burke was heading for a change. So out into the neutral zone it goes. Countway is going to get that way in and off the mesh. The face is going to come outside. But on that goalie note, you know, you sit there. You know it's not your game to start. The other goalie gets the nod. You kind of just get yourself into more relaxed mindset. But I'm not sure if that's how he is 
at this level, you got to assume, you know, there's a, a point in the game where you could get in at any point, so you got to be ready to go, and it looks like Lavois ready to go as he's been sharp since entering. Yeah, and I think uh, even the goalies I play with, you know, you see them getting ready as if they were playing every game, so I think that uh, it's one of those things where the, as a goalie you got to be ready every game, you never know. Yeah, preparation is key no matter what position you're playing, but at the goaltender level as well as things can be flipped on their head pretty quick or you just never know what can happen as the puck goes down. Once again for icing here on the Subaru, so we'll flip it back down into their defensive zone to the left of Lavois. He's out at the top of the crease now. He's ready to go already, and that's a good sign there, dialing it in. And a good goaltender, you know, he's, he's got himself a 1.35 GAA and a 9.3 or 9.39 save percentage here in the playoffs, so pretty good numbers and looking to continue his, his play into this next two periods. Of course now as McQueen tries to get the puck out, he does, but only for a moment as the Max flip it back in. Partner pass for Prince. Prince up the left side, Mackinnon. Mackinnon, good footwork there now as he drags it back to the middle and McQueen in to help out. He's gonna fire a pass cross ice. Manders gonna take a bump there from Walters. Walters never shies away from throwing a hit. Now as McQueen, nice move, centers it down low. Mackinnon whacks at it, pucks up in the air. Nobody can find it. As now Walters is able to as he'll chip it up. Nice pass up to the left side for Dooley. Dooley. Didn't have much space, good gap control there by Mander, so Julie's forced to dump it in. Use a Chukwu, streaking up the left side. He gets that pass, now he's gonna chip it off the wall, and those pucks don't bounce as well off the wall as he'd like. Now is McQueen back the other way, he's got Mackinnon with him. McQueen will slow up, hits the high guy, McPhee. McPhee shot there, what a blocker save from Magid as the Max needed that one. So that would have really made things interesting here, is Turner with it. Sl slings it around the other side, foot with it. He's gonna make his way up the ice. He's being pressed hard there from the rookie Evans. Now it's chipped back up. Good job by the Subarus to shut down that blue line and force the Max to dump or turn it over. As now it's chipped off the end wall. Good job by Lavoie. And you can tell with a play like that, Steve, something really small as that puck bouncing out kind of at the last second and surprised Lavoie, he was right on it. So he's dialed in down there and looks like he's ready to go. Yeah, and margins are pretty tight out there. We're seeing both teams uh, clogging that neutral zone up. D are stepping up and uh, Forwards for both teams are back checking hard and then supporting their D. So it's uh, you know tough to tough to get those opportunities right now, especially if you're someone or a team that's looking for those great A opportunities. It's a lot tougher. You look up and you just see a clog of red or blue jerseys, and you're forced to chip it up and over. But that's part of the game. You know you got to read and react to the situation and kind of make adjustments on the fly. And both these coaching staffs have been doing so in this. But uh, we're still stuck at two and zero here in the second period or two nothing. 12 minutes left to go, so lots of hockey to left to go here in the second period and lots of time for the Subarus team to tie it up as now we're gonna have Legere wave from the face off. Looks like Proctor got caught cheating over there on the left side, so it's gonna have to be Schlender or one of the D-man. And now Schlender will come in on his weak side, we'll call it, as that puck bounced off the wall. A good job there by the Max to hold it in. Schlender will run into his man, Evans, but Countway's gonna come away with that puck here for the Subarus. Good indirect pass there off the wall. O'Donnell chips it through the middle. Back the other way, Stevens, Stevens drags. Nice move to the backhand, shot there. Oh, what a goal, Nolan Stevens. The toe drag, the backhand top right corner and a beautiful goal there to cut the lead in half from Nolan Stevens. And he's gonna get his ninth point, fifth goal of the playoffs. And the Subaru's faithful, who you can see in your screen there in front of the camera are happy about that, Steve. Yeah, excellent uh, individual play there. Real nice move, nice finish. And Great play on the wall by O'Donnell too, Owen O'Donnell. Picking that puck up and, and uh, getting a, a nice little pass into the middle. Not an easy play picking those pucks up on the wall. Great little play into the middle and uh, yeah, just a nice individual effort, great move and, and uh, beautiful backhand. Like we said, not an easy shot, but uh, being able to get that backhand up high like that, uh, it's a tough, tough play for the goalie. Another shot there up front, a little bit of momentum being built here for the Subarus. As that puck will come outside the zone, but that's our second toe drag goal of the series that we've seen the last game, Marmaluk, this game, Stevens, yeah. and something that looked like maybe nothing was coming from it and ended up finding the back of the net. And like you said, that backhand shot, Steve, from in that tight, underneath the bottom of the circle, to get that up far side, up over far the goaltender too, at the top yeah. of the crease is not an easy task, but Stevens made it look pretty easy there, if you ask me. Yeah, beautiful goal. We see some great individual efforts here the last two games, some real nice goals. I mean, the skill is just Highly ridiculous real. here. And on, on all, in all facets. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, top to bottom, both teams. I mean, any anyone's uh, capable of making a, a nice play like that. Uh, you know, the, the 
the gap between the first and the fourth lines in these leagues now are, are, uh, are smaller than I think it's ever been. Yeah, for sure. You know, you talk about the fourth line. I don't even know if there really is a fourth no. line anymore. The players no. can be put out in all situations, and we've seen that here so far throughout the season and the playoffs. So, like we said, hockey's in pretty good shape around here, and there's going to be lots of players coming from this part of Canada up and coming here is now Wagner, two on one. Good job by Hines, stay on side. Opportunity shot there, what a defensive play. Cavanaugh never gave up on the play for a second as he got back in plenty of time to disrupt that play. Now as the Subaru's back the other way, shot there. Magic got a piece of that, that one buckled him there as he had a quick peek behind himself. And now another, another two, two on, on one. one. Trying to get it through, another good defensive play there by the Subarus as they were able to stop that one before it happened. Now Shearer, he gets it in deep, he takes a bump and then has a stare down at McPhee. And now Shear's gonna have a stick whacked out of his hand. The Max gonna have to hold off here as Lindsay got that in deep. Shear's still inside the zone now. He tags up, so the Subaru's gonna have some time to break out. Off the wall, kind of a lazy pass. Shear kept that one in, but it will get outside into the neutral zone now as the Subarus are gonna get that in deep. And look at McQueen go in on the four check. He's gonna get there before Creelman. McQueen showing that he wants it down there as he takes a bump there from Turner. Turner's gonna come away with that puck now as he tried to dangle his way out of traffic and almost turned that one over now as Shear. He'll take a bump there from Yuzuchuku, back the other way, two on two. Hines with Turner. Hines had that poked off his stick as Yuzuchuku came back to help out. He'll run into Lindsay, but the puck will get in deep into the Subaru zone as Countway back for it. He's gonna work up the right side. Now for Yuzuchuku on the right side, in over the blue line now, into the middle for Mackinnon. Mackinnon attacking with speed as he's got Walters on him. The 220s tangle up. Yuzuchuku comes away with that loose puck. 9.44 left to go here in the second period. Back to the point, Mokriakov back down to Yuzuchuku. We'll cycle it down low for Mackinnon. Mackinnon gets away from Creelman. He's gonna walk out of the corner, goes back up to the point, and a good idea there from Countway to get it across quickly, but wasn't able to fully connect there, so the execution just not quite there as the puck goes back down inside the max zone. Lindsay with it. Soft chip for Hartland. Hartland, nice move off the half wall. He's looking for his options. Cross ice pass there, and just out of the reach of Walters as he was off to the races if that one connected, but it's gonna go back down inside the max zone. It's been pretty much Subaru's here for the last couple minutes since they scored. You can see a lot of that life into the legs now and the blood and heart rate is definitely pumping down there for that team. Yeah, and you can see things ramp up here. It feels like a little di different atmosphere in the rink now with a 2-1 with a game here for us, so it's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting finish. Man, you can't draw it up any better than this as a hockey fan, as a commentator or a broadcaster, whatever you wanna call it. These tight games are really what it's about. It's when you get into those blowouts where you start to get, you know, a little bit bored up here. But this game has been nothing short of exciting here so far. Now is Walters. Nice pass there through the middle for Chip. Just knows where he is at all times. Chip there shot. He has a real good quick release there. Didn't look like he was going to get much behind it, but he ends up firing that on net. But a good save by Lavoie as the rebound comes free now as Hartland takes a bump. A little incidental contact there. No harm done. Burke. Tried to get by, couldn't beat Proctor and the linesman. Now is an opportunity here. Schlender shot there and he ran into Brennan O'Donnell, who I'm not sure he even knew was there. As O'Donnell's gonna take that puck, looking for his options, chipped it through the neutral zone, up the ice, and it's gonna have just enough legs for icing there as Wagner kind of slowed up. And that's sometimes when the linesman waves it off, but anytime there's a 50-50 puck down there when it's gonna be icing, you kind of want to blow the whistle there just to avoid that contact in those uh, greasy areas. Yeah, it's good to get the whistle early. I remember when I played, we still had the touch icing. It oh. was one of my first games, uh, I think it was in the American League, and really late whistle, I ended up finishing a guy who I knew, too, was a buddy, and I didn't think there was going to be a whistle, and he ended up getting injured because he let up, and something like I still feel bad about to this day, so it's good, good to get that whistle out of the way early. Well, maybe if he's listening, he knows that you felt bad about it. I'm sure you probably <laughs> told him, but not at the time during the game. As Burke's back the other way, Evans, good job to stay on side, and I was wrong now as... Evans dragged that foot, but just not quite long enough as Burke showing his frustration going to the bench there and not able to get much going here so far, but Burke eight points in the playoffs so far, six goals, two assists, and most notably a hat trick in the first round in one of the put away games now as we're gonna have a late change for the Subaru, so McQueen's gonna be asked to go back, even though the ref's arm was still up, so he's just gonna have a quick word with the bench here. Be nice to have a mic down there on the bench, or maybe not, as we might have to have a, a little bit of delay on it, but you never can tell. McQueen sets up here, Walters tries to push that forward off the faceoff, he does, but it hits O'Donnell. Now it's gonna stay inside the zone, McQueen tried to poke that free. Cross ice pass onto the stick of Marmaluk. Marmaluk shoots it over for Walters, Walters in front for Marmaluk. oh, what a play, and an even better save. 
from Lavoie as Marmalock dove for that one and just got a stick on it, but Lavoie kicked out that left pillow to make a great save, and he keeps this one at a one-goal lead. And that's a big save there as we talked about key moments of the game and key saves, and that could definitely be one of those saves here that we're talking about later on in this game is 7.40 left to go. Good job by Lindsay to get down to two knees. Hold that puck in. Now an opportunity. Marmalock to the forehand. Oh, and another save by Lavoie. Rebounds loose. And Lavoie coming in off the bench. And he has been red hot here so far in the second period. As a couple great A point blank chances are stopped off that good down low positioning from Lavoie as the Max go back the other way. Dooley tried to move it into the middle for Marmalock. Wasn't able to connect the pass. Now it was McQueen. He's going to make a nice move by Lindsay and able to get the puck in deep. And then Sanford's going to get in there on the four check. He's got Fawson on him. They bang into the back end wall. Just rimmed around. Countway able to hold the line. Good job of the linesman. Get out of the way. And behind the net. Worked in behind. Bolts tripped up and maybe he just kind of blew a tire there. There's now good pressure here from the Subarus. LeBlanc cycles it back down low. Sanford on that loose puck. 6.50 left to go in the second. Back down low into the middle for Bolts. Bolts turn fire. Saved by Magid as he got out the top of the crease. As that rebound comes loose. Mokriakov had a hard time with that. LeBlanc to help out as he chips it down low. Sanford tried to back pass it. He's going to have some space coming out of the net. Wide open. Mokriakov. He's going to have some time and space. Shot there. Blocker save. Opong tried to get out on him. So he gets a shift here. Now it's going to be chipped up and over. And that is going to be icing here on the max. So real good pressure from the Subarus as they were looking for the equalizer there. But Magic up to the task here for the max once again as he closed down the basket down there. And the play stays at 2-1. But we'll flip it back down into the max zone here for an offensive zone faceoff for the Subs. 6.25 left to go here in the second period. Big moments. And you can feel the game kind of teetering back and forth now, Steve. Yeah, some great chances at both ends. And and uh, you know the goalies holding their teams in it, and some great, uh, some great individual plays down by Halifax and Lavoie was excellent there. And uh, you know, those are the saves you need here at this point of the game. And uh, same with Magic, making some great saves. So we're, we're seeing some excellent goaltending. Absolutely, couldn't agree more with that statement. And Cape Breton Eagles watching closely as Lavoie really making a name for himself there as he was a 138th overall pick for Cape Breton last season. So pretty cool story for him so far and definitely putting his ballots in for a position on the team next year. But he's got to get through here first. Now is Magito to play it here for the Max. Leaves it there for Truen. Aiden O'Donnell, good read there as he had a, got his stick caught up there in the wall. And that's a hopeless feeling there. And Manders absolutely runs over Hines there. A little bit of a suicide pass. And now they're going to get the puck out the zone. Through the middle, O'Donnell's going to give chase, but Wagner there first. Chipped up the other way for Turner. Now it's turned over. Brennan O'Donnell. He's got Aiden O'Donnell with him. Brennan, shot there. He scores! Brennan O'Donnell with his ninth point, third goal, and it is a big one, Steve, as he ties things up here with 5.38 left to go. He's really big goal there, and uh, we talked about Lavoie making those big saves, and that could happen, that's what can happen in a playoff game, and... Uh, yeah, beautiful finish there by O'Donnell. Yeah, you take those moments and you run with them, and Lavoie still down there pretty calm and collected, and definitely a shot that Magic was is going to want to have back as I think he thought the puck was going high. Maybe O'Donnell fanned on it, but it ends up going through the five hole, and we got ourselves a tie game here, Steve. So just like we said, we're in for one hell of a finish here, so if you planned on going anywhere, I wouldn't do it just yet as the Max trying to go back the other way here. Two on two now, Marmalock with Chip. Good hard pass through the middle for Chip. Chip had a hard time to hang on to it as he does get a shot off, but it goes wide. Marmaluk tried to force it back to the net in behind. So Creelman with it. Cross ice pass. Marmaluk had a hard time with that. Puck in the crease. Down low. So McPhee picking up the lone assist. Lone assist. Now Stevens working his way down. He runs into Chip. Now the Subaru's faithful real loud now down there. As you can hear the penny shakers and the horns down there. So they're going to walk off the half wall. Evans looking for that deflection at the side of the net. He got it, but a good save there from Magic as he keeps this thing deadlocked now as McPhee walks down low. He didn't have a lane to the net, so he runs it around the other side. LeBlanc fake down low. He's going to be tied up by Lindsay. They tangle up. Have to be careful. Good job there. Just stayed at the... Even strength there as they almost got caught for the too many men. Sanford with it, centers it for Mackinnon. Mackinnon got a shot up, but it was blocked there by Marmalock, who was in the shooting lane. And now it's going to be shot up and out of play. And boy, has this game really turned around. It's uh, certainly feel the momentum shifting in the Subaru's way. The Max just kind of holding on here for the last couple minutes. But 
you know they're equipped down there to just push back the other way and they're just going to handle the storm or weather the storm if you will but real good push here from the Subarus here in this second period a much better period yeah much better period for Dartmouth and you know you get that momentum and uh, you know whenever you have it you want to want to run with it absolutely is that shot by Cantway beat Magic but it ends up going wide Mackinnon now flies across the blue line he's able to disrupt things enough to get that puck back inside the zone the Max scrambling here a little bit now is a Outlet pass for Legere. He'll work his way through the middle of the ice now. He's faked the pass over to Proctor. He dumps it in. Proctor's going to get in there first. He's got Countway on him. Countway's got two Max tied up down there. They try and get that puck free. It's cycled down low. Okriak off. Now takes a bump from Schlender. Proctor working the corner. He's got two blue jerseys on him. Able to get the puck back to Faustin, but Faustin unable to hold his own as he'll have to retreat back inside his own blue line. Partner pass cross for foot. Foot looking for his options. He's going to find the stick of Proctor in deep. Countway's going to have to hurry here as Walter's in on the four check. Schlender thought about getting in there, but he realized he needed to change as now that puck goes up and off the netting and out of play. So the faceoff's going to stay down inside the Subaru zone. 2-2 two, two here, 3.31 left to go in the second period. And we're right back to square run. So 0-0 zero, zero essentially. The next goal, very, very large, Steve. Yeah, and it's a big three and a half minutes here. You know, both teams will be looking to get one. You always want to Want to try to get that late goal in the period. It can really, uh, you know, really help your team here going into a third period like this. But, uh, yeah, they're both going to look to make a little press, I think. And you know how it is, giving up a goal or scoring a goal. It either puts wind in your sails or takes wind out of it. And for some reason, for the standing of time, that late goal always seems to affect teams either good or bad. But uh, you never want to give one up in the last minute for sure. But the Subaru's looking to take their first lead of the game here as they got another... Puck possession down the offensive zone as Burke takes a bump there. Good strong play down there from Truen. So now the puck's going to be pushed free by Wagner. Wagner up the right side or left side for Dooley. Aiden O'Donnell there to help out defensively. Turn that over. Now he's going to go back the other way. He takes a bump there from Wagner as the Max don't take very many chances and don't hit Aiden O'Donnell when they get an opportunity. And taking away his time and space is now the Max potential two on one, but it's chipped out the other way. Owen O'Donnell looking for Aiden O'Donnell. He tries to chip that in deep. He takes a bump. Owen O'Donnell takes a bump as well. Truen and Wagner, both D-men for the Max on that left corner. So now it's going to be walked out. O'Donnell almost had a step to the net there, but it's back the other way for the Max as Walters. Over the right side for Shear. Shear down the right side. He stops up. Good delay there. I think I taught him that in Wee AAA, just saying. <laughs> and he gets the puck in deep. So chipped up the wall. Turner able to hold the zone. Now it'll find the Subarus. And Stevens is going to dump that in, cross corner dump. Faustin back for it. Owen O'Donnell in on the four check, almost turned it over, but Faustin stays strong. She's going to find that outlet pass for the middle. That's Hines. Hines to the neutral zone, one on two. Look at Countway there. Or sorry, that was McPhee really working that gap control. Now as Kavanaugh will reverse it back the other way as he takes a bump. Nice, silky smooth move there from the defender McPhee. As the Subarus get broken out now. Good heads up there by Stevens as he was able to realize that he had the time and space. Now the rebound comes loose. Oh, and a great play by Lindsay. As Magic had a hard time with that one as we're down to the last minute 45 here. A couple of the Subarus will head for a change. Now chipped up the left side. Mackinnon turned it over just off the bench. LeBlanc able to get the puck in deep. He'll give chase. And that hits something weird there on the ice. You see that mm. bounce there, Steve, on a piece of ice, I guess it would have been. It would be the only option down there pretty much. Now as Shearer takes a bump from Okriak off, and Shearer is not happy down there. And he's going to show his displeasure on that stick and... My old man would have my head down there if I whacked my stick like that. But maybe it's under warranty. What do we know? Lots of hockey, though, to, re to regain your composure and give yourself another opportunity. As you know, you're going to get right back out there. It's not like baseball or something like that where sometimes you don't get an opportunity to make good as we're down into the last minute of play as Chip tries to get it down low. Hartland on the half wall. Nice pass in the middle for Walters. Walters, the pull and drag in the shot, and that goes wide. And that was a bullet there. He Right in tight on his body, and you can see the shots from all these players. Now another shot from the point, block it away by Lavoie as that one goes into the corner. 42 seconds left here in the second period as the Max with a real good push here late now as Lavoie is going to tip that one up, and a real smart play there by the goaltenders. Now Hartland, and it looks like Mokriakov down there are going to have some words, but as I was saying, Lavoie with the pressure, he got an opportunity to deflect that one up into the netting. He does that, so that'll help things long enough to slow it down a little bit, Steve, and, but the Max are going to stay inside the offensive zone here. Yeah, and like we talked about, Lavoie coming in, and, uh, you know, Hurley was playing good as well, but I think sometimes when you're a coach, maybe you, you just want to make a little switch to, to wake the team up, I think, and that's what, uh, like I said, nothing against Hurley. I thought he, Hurley was playing well, but uh, you, know, you just make a little, little switch just trying to wake the team up, and, 
Lavoise came in and, and done his job great. And at the same time, if you're a player down there and they switch that, now you're going, okay, well now we gotta do this, right? We got our teammate who got taken out of the game, now we gotta win this thing for him. Now it's a shot from the point. Off the stick of Lindsay and Lavoie at the top of the crease. Once again, take that in the bread basket right where he likes it. And he'll smother it up here. 21.8 seconds left to go. And like you said, Steve, sometimes you're the coach, right? You're, we're not down there. We don't see the inner workings. We don't see what's going on behind the scenes. And sometimes maybe just a hunch. You know, body language sometimes can tell the story. But like you said, we thought Hurley played well. And Lavoie's coming in here, and he's made his mark in this game so far as now we're tied with 20 seconds left to go yeah, here and an uh, opportunity late definitely woke the team up as well. They came out and had a, a better period for sure. The Subaru's gonna send that through the neutral zone. Aiden O'Donnell in over the red line. He'll get it in deep. He takes a bump there from Proctor. Magic comes out. He fires that out. That's gonna go up to the blue line, but it's gonna be held in now. Brennan O'Donnell on that loose puck. It takes a bump from Truen. It's gonna stay on that wall and push that thing back down. Five seconds, and that is gonna do it here. So a much better period for the Subarus. No goals for the Max in the second period. Two in the second for the Subarus. We're gonna head to the period or the third period, deadlocked at two. So 40 minutes come and gone. We'll be back with the third period when we return.
Welcome back, everybody. Third period action just about underway. Matt Doodley with you, High Button Sports, alongside, I believe, 2004 first team All Star Steve Dixon. I could be wrong in that. Well, you probably don't remember. For a long time before that, maybe 2000. Maybe 2000. <laughs> See, that's a humble approach right there. Has no well, idea. 2001. Yeah. Regardless, we're up here. We're ready for the third period. It's 2 2. And folks, let me tell you, we are in for an absolute doozy of a third period as the ref is going to do a puck check down there. And it looks like maybe they've been listening to the streams because the first team All-Star on defense, the H2O, out there doing its thing once again. So they're going to let the puck or the ice dry a little bit here. And I know I make that joke every time. Probably not as funny for you folks at home as it is for up here in the booth. But now we are underway here. 20 minutes on the board and we are ready to go here. 20 miles, 20 smiles as they say, Steve. Both these teams looking for the go-ahead goal and the next one big. And that's going to be the case for the rest of this game. Yeah, we had an excellent period here last period and I think we're going to see an uh, even better one here. So Aiden O'Donnell over to the right side for Brennan O'Donnell. He tries to fire that one towards the net and that's going to go off a shin pad and up into the netting. So we'll have our first whistle here 22 seconds into the third period. Probably the best math I've ever done on the spot. So no problem for he is at home. Easy, easy stuff. So 2-2 two, two tie. Burke on the draw against Walters. we got both teams standing up here too. You can tell everyone's into it. Yeah, they're like at the end of that period where the intensity really started to pick up and you can see a lot more life into the legs. Now is a pass out front turnaround shot. O'Donnell wasn't able to get it off. So back the other way goes Marmalock. Marmalock with Dooley. Dooley a goal in this game already. Good job, Marmalock. Stay on side. Good cut back there from Dooley as he's going to try to hit the trailer. Walters, and that's going to be tipped and up out of place. A good stick there by the Subaru's defender as they disrupted that puck. Both teams will go for a full change here. 19-18 left to go in the third. Like I said at the start of the game, everyone knows it. Subaru's trying to force the game five. The Max trying to take the banner home here on away ice. Not too far from their home barn, though, however. Just $1.25 away depending on which way you go. The face-off now is won by the Subarus, but Schlender's going to get in on that puck. Is rimmed up the half wall, trying to exit the zone. Be able to hold it in is the max. Count way, be careful there in an anxious moment. You could hear the gas from the mothers down there underneath us as they thought that one might be going in the back of the net. Now is Evans there, a shot there. That was blocked. Hit the skate there of Lindsay and... Buck goes back out to the neutral zone as it's clear. Countway towards his net again. Lavoie is going to take the lead on that one and leave it for Countway. That one got just a little too close to the net now. Schlender turned it over. Tried to center for Proctor. Does. Turned it over. Legere shot. He scores. Luke Legere, the go-ahead goal on a loose puck in front. Right place, right time, Steve, and he makes no mistake. Yeah, that was a good play by Legere. They were finding that puck in the slot. And made a nice little spin play there. Quick release. Uh, you know, when you get the puck off your stick quick like that, it's uh, tough for the goalie and he's able to go five hole there, so a nice finish as well. So that's gonna be Legere's seventh goal and 14th point, so he'll put himself right up at the top there with his teammate Marmalock for the lead. And the last guy that you're trying to leave open like that in the slot, with that being said, the ice still fresh out there, so lots of time. The Subarus have scored two, there's no reason they can't score one. The Max are feeling pretty good about their start here in the third period. Now Sanford's just going to get that in deep. Bolts had to touch back up here as he was offside. Faustin will peel behind. Didn't have a clear pass, so he chips it out into the neutral zone just past Shear. He bangs away for it now. Trying to get it in deep. Faustin, good partner pass there for Wagner. Wagner is going to make his way up ice over the red line, and he'll get that in deep. Turner on the loose puck. Shear there tried to fire a shot at the net. Got tipped along the way, so he wasn't able to get it there. Now LeBlanc with it. He's going to move it over to his D-man. Through the middle for Bolts. Heads up there as Legier was coming through. And those, those passes through the middle, the suicide passes give me, I'm not going to call it PTSD, Steve, but definitely give me some negative flashbacks of the old head tucked through the neutral zone. And, you know, the four checkers used to lick their chops at those, but now they're kind of looking for puck first. And that's a little bit of the way they made the game safer, I suppose. So now that's going to be chipped in deep. McPhee back for it here. And behind his own net, he's just going to peel it out and head for the races here now as he ran out of time and space. So he chips it into the neutral zone. Hartland able to get it. So he gets it to Legere. Mackinan will tie up with Legere there. And now it's going to be dumped in the zone. Lavoie out to play it cleanly. Leaves it there for his D-man, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh up the left side for Mackinan. Mackinan, no clear pass. So he flips it up and over. We've seen a lot of that here in this game. He's used a Chuku now trying to get in on the forecheck. He's going to lean on Wagner there. Wagner able to stay strong as he got that puck over to foot. Foot. Now, nice lead pass there from Hartland over to Chip. 
Chip down the left side, he chips it in. And he's gonna get on it first there as he tries to force one at the net. Hartland in late. And Lavoie able to cover it up, so Max strike early in the third period, playing catch up again out of the Subarus, but still a really good pace here to start this third period, Steve. Yeah, real good pace here at both ends, and uh, you know, Halifax is just gonna look to keep that uh, you know tight defense, and, and Dartmouth can't get away from their game either. They gotta keep playing the same way, play your, your tight defense, and, and uh, can't get discouraged just that you're down one, lots of time left. Well, especially after giving or being down two already in the game, one you know doesn't seem like much probably to them. So definitely chances for them, but they just have to capitalize here on one. And you know we've seen kind of Magic fight the puck just a little bit, not a knock on his game, but every now and then that puck kind of buckles him up and he looks behind him. So getting that puck to the net is going to be key here. And we kind of beat the head of a dead horse here when we say that all the time. At the end of the day, that is kind of the name of the game in hockey if you simplify it, but. Back the other way now. Aiden O'Donnell's got a man going to the left side there. Opportunity shot there. Try to go back to O'Donnell. Nobody can find it. Except for the O'Donnells. Now a shot. They score. Aiden O'Donnell ties things up. 16-15 left to go in the third. And maybe, arguably, his biggest goal of the playoffs so far. As you know, he's feeling a little bit of a release now off his shoulders. Lots of pressure on him this season. But he makes no mistake that there on a the scrum in front of the net. But good job to stick with it. Yeah, and it was a nice uh, nice play by Aiden at, at, uh, off the rush there. Nice pass over, and uh, Brendan O'Donnell did a great job of sticking with it there. He got the play broken up, stuck with it, got it behind the net. Back out to O'Donnell, and O'Donnell's got that nice quick release, and it didn't take too much time for him to snap in the back of the net, so nice goal. So we set on the max goal. Last guy you want to be leaving out front all alone was Legere. Now flip it over to the Subarus, you got o O'Donnell out front. Now that being said, nobody knew where the puck was. I don't even think O'Donnell knew until it was on his stick and in the back of the net, but hey, that's hockey, man. Things happen quick and you gotta be there at the right time to make the play and they tie things up. So just as we talked about it, they're not shying away here. We're back to square one once again here. 16, 13 left to go in the third. And we're looking like a teeter-totter seesaw battle here. And maybe the last goal is gonna win here when the street lights come on. Well, that'll give the Subarus a little life here as they're going to turn it over. Stevens ran into his man Proctor. And now good play there by Lindsay. Is he going to move it up to Legere? Legere ran into Manders, but he got it in deep. So Aiden O'Donnell from Brennan O'Donnell. Brennan O'Donnell will pick up his 10th point of the playoffs. And now back the other way is Evans. Good job to stop up. He's waiting for his recruits, but a real good job there by Creelman just to step right up on him right away and make take away his options. Now Legere with it. Kind of a blind play, but he will get that Odin in the neutral zone. It'll make its way down to the Subaru zone. Manders back forward. He's got Proctor coming in. Schlender as well. Manders chipped it off the wall. He took a bump there and not sure where what happened there, but it looks like he got a stick in the area where we won't like to talk about on there. Now is Burke with a shot. Coming in late there was Brennan O'Donnell, but the puck bounced over his stick. Manders is going to go down the tunnel here. He's on his own feet. Schlender to the backhand. Now he's going to scoop it to himself. So he's being absolutely harassed there by the defender, Prince, and back the other way. Aiden O'Donnell chips it to Brennan O'Donnell. He'll get it in deep. Wagner back. Wagner logging tons of minutes here now as Aiden O'Donnell's kind of upended there. He's gonna stay on that loose puck. Reverses it back the other way for Brady Burke. Burke up the top to the point for Prince. Prince shot there, tipped there, and good net presence, but deflection's gonna go up into the netting, and the faceoff's gonna come outside as Aiden O'Donnell kind of arguing with the ref there, saying it went off the max stick, but Hey, listen, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, in my opinion, and try and catch them napping at all. But the ref's on the point here, and the faceoff will come outside the zone. I think the ref's been doing, the last two games especially we've had here, they've been doing a great job letting the guys play. They're, you know, obviously making those obvious penalty calls, but, uh, you know, there hasn't been, hasn't, I don't think, been any calls where you're kind of second-guessing it. So they're, they're definitely letting the boys decide it out here. That's what I was just going to say. They're not putting the game in their hands. They're leaving it to the players here, and you love to see that. And yep, at this level, job. you know, these, these kids know what they're doing. And the, the, a lot of the time I find the higher the level, the easier the penalty calls become, of course. As you get into, like, those U11 things where they run into each other and it looks like a body check and those kind of things. But at this level, you know, you let them play, and the refs are doing a great job here. So we, we yep, would really be remiss if we didn't mention it. We're back the other way, the Subarus. Nice outlet pass through the middle for Bolts. Bolts has McPhee with him. He's going to leave it there for McPhee. McPhee's just going to fire that at the net. Magic slides out and makes a save as he'll cover it up. So even the atmosphere in here is really picked up. These two groups of fans really trying to outdo one another as we're down to the 
14.09 left to go here in the third period. Faceoff will stay to the left of Magic here on the glove side as Turner comes in to take that draw, as well as looks like it's going to be McQueen. It's a big faceoff here. Faceoff's a big part of the game. You want to get that puck possession. It's Lindsay, good soft chip there behind the net. Creelman, outlet pass, cross ice, Hartland. Hartland cross ice for Turner. Turner through the neutral zone. Nice pass off the skates of Chip there, but back the other way is Yuzuchuku. He'll chip it off the wall. McQueen down the other way. McQueen right side tried to pull it and shoot it. And kind of ran out of space there as him and Creelman get tangled up. Manders, he's back out there. So whatever happened to him, he sh shook it off as he's just going to fire that back down in deep. And behind the net now is Lindsay's going to have to give Chase Mackin in there on the four check. He waves at that puck. Is Lindsay able to just work his way through traffic. Chip now is... Stepped up on by Cantway, so he chips it in deep. Use the Chukwu, rims it around the other side. Mackinnon, good job to pick that up on the back end now, so he's gonna work through with one hand. He's tangled up. Penalty coming here to the max, and it looks like it's gonna go to Jacob Hartland. And it's probably gonna be a hooking penalty. We'll wait to see who it really is. And it is gonna be 23, Jacob Hartland. So he's gonna go to the box for hooking. The Subarus are gonna get a glorious opportunity on the man advantage here, Steve, and a great time to get the power play going as they are 0 for 2 so far in this one, getting their third power play of the game. Yeah, we talked about before, both these teams have great power plays, and uh, you know we haven't seen a goal here yet, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure Dark is gonna look to, to change that here. At the same time, we see some both great penalty killing for both teams. Most definitely have, and like we talked about, regular season numbers and the penalty kill is Subaru's 83.2 and the Max 89.7. Those are regular season numbers, folks. Those really have nothing to do with it, but it just gives you a little bit of light into how well these teams are groomed and how well they play the special teams part of the game. Yeah, both very well-structured teams for sure. So face-off won by the Subarus. Back to the point for Prince. Shot down low, looking for O'Donnell back door. He got a piece of it. Wasn't able to find the back of the net this time now as Prince fires it down to the half wall for Aiden O'Donnell. He's gonna have some space to walk in. Shot there. Ooh. And that goes off of what it looked like. Magic maybe. And up and out of play. So face off will stay inside the max zone here. Minute 32 left to go in the man advantage. And pretty simple so far on the power play right now. Get it to the top. Get it to a lane where you can find a shot to the net and just get it there. Yeah, you wanna Kind of simplify, get pucks to the net. Uh, that was a nice shot there by O'Donnell. Just, just got it a little high, but uh, nice quick release. Sometimes you watch a guy like that shoot and you forget that he's only 15, 16 years old. So he's gonna get that slot pass back Ooh. again there. That one looked like it kind of went in there for a sec, but we didn't react because we knew that it wasn't. Back and behind now, that'll find Odin O'Donnell again. Now he spins off a four checker Marmalock. Marmalock will get back into defensive position. They're gonna close things down right in the middle of the slot there. You see three red jerseys. They're gonna go 1-1-2 one, one, here with the revolving outside. Now is Marmalock down to one knee and a big block there. So Marmalock doing it on the score sheet and we've seen him get down in front of some shots into some uh, shooting lanes there and blocking some biscuits down there. So, you know, if you wanna sell yourself as a complete player, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, that's what you're looking for in the penalty kill, getting the lanes and uh, it's never an easy job out there on the kill. You wanna, wanna get in the lanes, especially when guys shooting off the flank. So you wanna, wanna get your body in front of them. He does a good job there, and that flank is the ever important part of the power play. You see pretty much all teams run their power play through that half wall area there as at least gets back to there at some point. Now it's back to the top for Countway over to Mackinnon. Mackinnon, right side, shot there. Marmaluck, second block of the shift here. As loose puck comes to Mackinnon, he'll fire it back for Countway. Countway's gonna fire it over to the left side. Opportunity now, they try to go back door to Mackinnon. Kind of sell the shot there, get the defender maybe to go down into that block shot position like they've been doing and try and slide that back door. They do that there, but a good job by the Max to get a stick in the shooting yeah, lane. Yeah, it's a good try. You know, you see a lot, uh, a lot of games. If you get that cross size pass through the seam there, it really opens up uh, a nice shot from the far side. And the, the goalie's gonna be thinking shot from the other side. So it was a good, good try there. And we actually seen the Subaru score on Thursday night on that exact same play. Rebound came loose, Evans slotted in late and he ended up putting it home, so. You know, you want to stick with what makes you successful now is they're going to take possession off the faceoff here once again. Aiden O'Donnell over to Prince. One-time shot there, and Magic read it the whole way, and he was over there in plenty of time. As he takes that one in the crest, and he'll smother it up. 37 seconds left to go in the man advantage. Hartland on his feet, anxiously waiting to get back into play here in 12 minutes flat. So exactly eight minutes gone. The scorekeeper made that one real easy for us up here in the booth, Steve. So faceoff's going to stay inside the max zone now. Legere 
is going to lose that draw. Now they tie up, and Subaru is able to get possession, so maybe not a clear win, but puck possession, the name of the game off the faceoff now is Aiden O'Donnell down to help out. He'll fire it up to the right side for Prince. Prince walks the line. Back down O'Donnell. Schlender's going to stay right on him. O'Donnell shot there. It hit a couple bodies in front. Goes up over the net. Brennan O'Donnell on the loose puck. Burke with it. Half wall. Slides it over. McPhee. Now back to McPhee. Down low. Going to have to be careful here as Hartland's going to get ready to enter. Now an opportunity shot. Oh, what a save. Sam Madgett pushed off that right foot. Got the rebound on the stick of Aiden O'Donnell's stick. And he flashed the leather there. And probably his biggest save, save of the game, Steve. Yeah, and a nice power play set up there by Darkwith, moving it around well. Got some, uh, got some pucks through and some, some good tries there, but uh, Magnet was uh, great there, especially on that last save, getting across the crease. Through traffic as well, yeah. so not hard to see why he's as highly touted as he is, as O'Donnell had a great opportunity. Now is Hartland over to the box, looking for that stretch pass, back to even strength, so 0 for 3 on the power play. Go the Subaru, so we're still tied at 3-3. Now the puck is going to get in deep here. The Max trying to get back on the offensive side of things here after just killing off a penalty, and that's one of those moments you got to look out for now. It's momentum builds from small little plays like that as Cavanaugh chipped it up off the glass. Good job there. Truen able to hold the zone, but Owen O'Donnell's going to win that battle on the wall and get it outside. Now Walters, real patient with the puck, doesn't want to give it away as he works so hard to get it back, and now it's going to be a hand pass in the offensive zone, so the faceoff's going to come outside the blue line. We're back to even strength here, 3-3. Three, three. And once again, Steve, we're in a position where the next goal is huge. Yeah, no, it's uh, 10 minutes, getting close to 10 minutes left here in the third. So every every play is crucial. You never know when that deciding play is going to be and what leads to it. So it's, uh, you know, every play is important going here from here on in. Yep, it gets a little more anxious as the time goes on and space gets harder to find. and. You know, you don't want to be the guy out there making the mistake, but at the same time, you don't want to be the guy that's out there kind of, you know, playing it easy and afraid to make mistakes because in hockey, we all know that that usually comes back to bite you playing tentatively. You want to play carefree as you can, but like you said, this is a big moment here for both these teams, the top two seeds in the league in the season, fighting it out here for the Phil Harrett Cup, a name that is very well known around this league and did a lot for this league as a whole, so nice to see his name on the cup there and... Both these teams trying to get that banner into their home rinks now as that stretch pass for Walters. It's going to be chipped in deep. Approaching the 10-minute mark here just about halfway through the third period. Stretch pass there. Gets through everybody, and that's going to be icing here. And we're going to have some words from the bench. Just a little bit of a question. Coach Burke down there wondering what's going on. Is it bounced over the stick? And I am pretty sure that is the rule, Steve. Even if you do make an attempt at it and it bounces over your stick, it's one of those like act of God type situations there where you made the attempt, but you never touched it, so it's an icing, so the faceoff's gonna go down inside the Subaru zone. Yeah, a lot of those are close plays too. It's sometimes hard to tell if it hits the stick or not. Now back the other way. LeBlanc through the neutral zone, cross corner dump. Now Bolts is kind of eased off there, and a good read actually as Lindsay kind of sold that one as Bolts now will turn it over. Puck bouncing around, backhand shot there. You could hear the, the fans down there with every motion towards the net is another gasp as Shear tries to get it in deep, turns it over at the offensive blue line, and now Creelman steps up. He'll get it in deep this time as Lavoie came out to play, but it bounced over his stick. Countway. Sorry, that's McPhee. The cage hang is sometimes you look for those things as an announcer, the small little differences from players, but that one mixed me up. Back in behind, Kavanaugh. Outlet pass for Mackinnon. Mackinnon had a hard time with it, but he able to find it. Is now Lindsay. Chipped off the wall. Shearer looking to get on that loose puck there. Gets it inside the zone, but not for long now. Use a Chuku, chipped it back the other way. McQueen, you can hear the bench yelling, you go, go, go. You have time. In over the line. Lindsay faked at him. Tried to go towards the net. Use a Chuku. Had that bounce over his stick now as Hines leaves it there for Marmalock. Marmalock the other way. One on two. He's going to work down the left side. Tried to peel it in to the middle, and it was poked off his stick as Use a Chuku now. Tries to get it in deep. Wasn't able to get it in deep, but now he's able to change. He's going to have to hurry here. It's the Max back the other way with numbers. Boston in over the line. It's going to slow up there. Just tried to fire it at the net, and it was tipped out of play. And into the netting, so 8.44 left to go here. Seconds ticking away for both these teams. And now, like we say, we keep talking about it, Steve, but the next goal and the next opportunity is massive here. And going to build off the little momentums like we saw the Subarus do in the second period with those saves from Lavoie. Now these offensive zone faceoffs are going to come more and more crucial as we go. Yeah, every play now, especially... Uh 
especially the face-offs in your offensive defensive zone, uh, everything, uh, you know, those plays add up here for sure. And, you know, they say all those things that you do all year, all the practices, all the, the things that you pound into your team's head, now's the time to use those things in a game. You know, we're talking about face-off assignments, we're talking about positioning, oh, picking up the open man in the high slot, those type of deal. Those are the really the things that really got to come through here in both these teams' game. And it looks like so far they have been doing that as both these teams have been laying it all on the line here in game number four as Wagner takes the return pass. Rebounds loose in front of the net. Hartland waving for it, but good job by the Subarus. Back defensively, three on two, potentially back the other way. Toe drag into the middle shot there. Imagine deflect that one wide. Now as O'Donnell finds Kavanaugh at the point. He fakes a shot there, gets it to the net. It was tipped, but it tipped wide. Manders now, he'll fire it at the net. Tipped in front again, Aiden O'Donnell in his feet. Wagner now in to help out. He'll fire it over for Hartland. Hartland will get the red line. He's going to stop up and get it in deep. Full sail change here for the Max happening as the Subarus go back for the puck inside their own zone. Manders having a hard time with that. Now he's just going to sling it back for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh being pressed from both sides as Max is going to continue to send two on the four check here. Outlet pass off the wall for Owen O'Donnell. Up the left side through the neutral zone. He'll cross the red line in over the blue line now. Good head of steam. He's just going to fire that on net. Match at the save. Rebound comes loose. Manders. Rebound, rims it in behind. Owen O'Donnell scanning, finds his option up top to right. Mander, shot there, tipped in front, slowed down, doesn't make its way to the net. Stevens looking for that loose puck, but Legier's gonna find it as he moves it over to Schlender. Schlender the return pass for Legier. Unable to get the puck inside the zone now. They are Proctor, right side, shot there off the crossbar or off the stick, it made kind of the same sound. Real tough to tell from up here, but a good save from Lavoie as they needed that one. O'Donnell, backhand, up off the glass and out of the zone. Chip back the other way, a little Ping pong being played now as puck goes down inside the zone. Icing waved off. Kavanaugh stops up. Bouncing pass. Didn't get that one off cleanly as it's dumped back in. Good job by Lavoise. He's going to come out to slow things down here. It's going to be left in behind. Walters is going to communicate with Dooley. Your turn to slot in for F1. Let's filter him out the other side and almost worked out as McMackinnon chipped out into the neutral zone. Lindsay with it. 6.42 left to go here in the third period. McPhee. Turn it over in the neutral zone. He's being pressed hard from Walters. Real strong on those skates down there, but it will get in deep now as Truen will reverse it back the other way. Off the skates of Lindsay. Loose puck, Mackinen jumping in for it. Gets poked by him. Now Walters trying to get off to the races, but a good job there by McPhee as he took away that wall lane. Now down the right side, Marmalock. We're going to see a lot of him and Legier, I'm sure, here in the dying minutes as we approach the five-minute mark of this game. Dooley with it. Tried to center. Prince able to clear that out of harm's way as LeBlanc now. Chipped it outside the zone, it's out in the neutral zone. Wagner will partner it across. Creelman, another cross corner dump. As McPhee will bounce that back to his D partner. Subaru's good job to slow it down, don't want to give it away and force a pass as they're just going to head up through the neutral zone. Max got four red jerseys across the blue line, forcing the Subarus to dump it in. They do, but Wagner's back first forward here for the Max as he fires it up the right side. Schlender tried to find his support, but gets through them and a dangerous pass through the middle. The puck ends up back down inside the Subaru zone. Chipped off the wall. Aiden O'Donnell tries to make a nice pass there to Brendan, but gets through his feet. Would have liked to see that puck get in deep, as I'm sure the coaches would have too. Now is Aiden O'Donnell in a foot race with Schlender. He loses that race as it's chipped back down inside the zone. Kavanaugh had to be careful. Legier on him. Legier kind of blew by. Now up the left side. Good outlet pass and good straightaway speed there from O'Donnell. As he walks in. He's going to have an opportunity to shoot there. It was deflected along the way. Magic got a piece of it. So they're going to bang away at it at the side of the net, and eventually he will cover it up. We're going to have some pushing and shoving down there, and this is not the time to take a penalty here. 5 11 left to go, and the next power play really will put the pressure things on, but it looks like nothing's going to come of it, and the faceoff's going to stay inside the max zone. Yeah, it's a big, big part of it here for both teams. Both want to stay out of the box, and you know, we're seeing some good puck management here as well. That no one wants to, you know, make that turnover at the either blue line, and guys are getting the pucks in deep and uh, making the smart plays. I'm sure we'll see that. Uh, you know the rest of the game. Puck management, a big part of the game, as you said, and like you said, you know, there's no reason to work your your tail off to get that puck and then just fire it away, you know, but the, at the end of the day, you do want to keep it away from your net, but both these teams doing a good job of managing the puck and kind of maintaining possession when they don't have their option. Now as it's turned over, back the other way, Stevens, three on three, back door, Evans to the backhand shot, back in front, they score! Nolan Stevens on the back door, not a whole lot Magic could do. But Stevens, with his second of the game, makes no mistake once again, Steve. Right place, right time, and he finds the back of the net. That's a beautiful play there. Very nice passing play, and uh, 
Stevens again with an excellent finish, but uh, oh, beautiful passing play there. And, uh, you know, it's hard for Magic to get over and get that one. And, and uh, another nice finish from Stevens, and he's been having a great game here. Two goals in this game. He's yep. got six in the playoffs now, including today. And no bigger goal than that here as we are underneath the five-minute mark. So now's yep. the time to be the New Jersey Devils in 1999, the old 1-2-2 two, two trap if you're going to. But something tells me this game's just going to continue to be wide open here now as Turner with it. Chipped up the left, right side. Shearer trying to get in behind the D. Pokes at it. Countway being harassed by Hines and Shearer. Back the other way. Mackinen outside of his own zone. Pass up for Sanford. Sanford's going to get the red line and get it in deep. Good smart play there. Keeping it safe. Madgett does a good job to come in and slow things down as now it's going to be played off the glass. Down into the neutral zone. McPhee anxious moments. Hines has to get it in deep but Shear is still in the blue line, so they have to tag up now as they do. Countway takes a bump there from Turner. Two big bodies colliding down there as Countway tried to get the red line. Pucks in the feet of Sanford. He's trying to get it in deep. Anxious moments now. Turner, good job to stay strong there and get it in deep. Shear wasn't able to get a stick on it long enough for it to get deep. So back the other way. Aiden O'Donnell will pick it up. Over the left side, had it poked off his stick just as he tried to make a move. Now through the middle of the ice, Legier with a head of steam. Down the right side and over the blue line. Across the top of the circles, in behind the goal line. He'll stay with it here. Up to the point for Lindsay. Lindsay didn't have a shot to the net there. He looked for the original shot, but couldn't find a lane, so he fires it in deep. Shear down there, first on the puck. Turned it over. Three and a half left to go. Max pressing for the equalizer. Manders to the right side for Brady Burke. Burke is going to get the red line. He's going to get it in deep, and he's just going to give chase here while his line mates head for a change. Good time for one as you get off the ice, and you're guaranteed probably going to see Aiden O'Donnell back out there before the end of this period. As now Proctor, he's being harassed by Burke there, and he has to be careful with that stick here late in this period, Steve, as he got it up in the hands, but no call here. Ref's not going to let this one be determined by a penalty now as it's back the other way. Good smart play now as they're going to fire across ice. Brady Burke in a puck race with Lindsay. And Lindsay able to get there first, but it's poked off the stick. Evans, he's out there in the late minutes of this game, so that says a lot about what the coach have. The confidence in him now is back the other way now. Brennan O'Donnell tries to make a move. Had that poked off his stick. Good defensive play by Chip as he moves it up for Schlender. Good job that was right on the tape. Schlender didn't see it coming now as he tries to push it through the middle. Kavanaugh takes a big bump there from Schlender. Two and a half. Left on the clock as the puck's chipped out into the neutral zone. Truen with it. He'll fire it up the right side. Faustin, good job there by Walters. He had to stop up and stay on side. Now is that shot. Lavoie redirects the rebound into the slot. Have to be careful now as Stevens able to clear the zone. Hartland with it, turned it over, Aiden O'Donnell nearly off to the races, but good defensive play and good speed from Foss, and as he got back in time, now is Hartland able to soft chip that over to the left side for Truen. Truen's gonna work up the ice, approaching the two minute warning now. Chip gets it in deep, Lavoie out to play, it bounced right out, right out front, good job and good read there. Reverse back the other way, Countway up to the right side and just chipped out of the zone. Subaru's just trying to keep the puck away from their net at any cost here, and rightfully so, since it's rimmed around the other side, Foston was waiting for that puck to get there, but the old Zamboni door will intercept that one, so he's able to get the red line. He's gonna get it in deep, and he fires one on the net, and he scores! Wow! Faustin just tried to get the red line, get it in deep, and it bounced up the stick of Lavoie, and just like that, we're back to square one, Steve. What a turn of events there. Yeah, sometimes those sh far shots, it can be uh, you know, tough on the goalie. It looked like it might have hit the, hit the ice, and jumped up or maybe off the top of the stick, but uh, you know, just getting it in and, and uh, you know, tough break there, but I, sometimes those bounces are tight. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely one Lavoie's gonna want back and that's pretty uncharacteristic of him, but like you said, pucks on net, Steve. We've been talking about it all game and probably the more unconventional way to score, but hey, we're back to 4-4, minute 36 left to go. Next one, probably gonna be the winner. Yeah, we're in that point of the game now. 130 left here, so it's a uh, no, big 130 here for, for both teams. Sanford in over the line, turned it over. Schlender, or sorry, that's Marmalock. Marmalock in over the line, tries to make a move. Gets in behind the D, wasn't able to get the puck though, as Kavanaugh is going to chip that, but Dooley turned it over. Dooley getting lots of ice here in this game. She's been having himself a mighty fine game. Says so rimmed around the other side. Walters with it, chips it down low, Marmalock rims it around the other side, Max heading for a change, so Mackinen able to get the puck there, tries to get it out, but it's held in by Wagner. 
Mackinan up into the play, and there's that play you talked about, Steve. If there was a penalty, <laughs> the Subs would be penalized here, but that's all hypothetical at this point. He just tried to get it up and out, but a face-off is what comes of it, so it'll stay inside the Subaru zone here. 55.5 seconds left to go. Got to win this face-off, and you got to get outside your zone early here. Yeah, big face-off here for both teams. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and sticking with us here. Good crowd at the rink, good crowd on the stream, and nothing better than bringing you guys some of the best hockey in the province here as that puck comes outside the zone. Truen over for Lindsay. Lindsay's just going to turn and get that in deep. Bounces off the end wall and right in behind the net. Prince got Schlender on him, rims it around. O'Donnell, blind pass there, shot towards the net. Stevens didn't have a lane through the middle, so he chips it up off the wall. Lindsay almost blew a tire. Proctor able to find it. He's going to get low and get some speed now as he'll fire it in. Cross corner dump. No rims or anything like that anymore, it seems. Just cross corner dumps, trying to get that puck to lay in that corner. So give your team the most amount of time to get in there and forecheck. Maybe one last rush here for the Subarus. 24 seconds left on the clock. They chip it in deep. 17 seconds now. Truen just going to eat it in behind the net. He's going to let the clock run out here. Maybe try and get a guy sneaking in behind. So now he's just going to eat it. Eight seconds, not taking any chances. So peel in behind, Aiden O'Donnell's gonna give chase now as Truen will just reverse it back the other way. And ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it. 60 minutes solves nothing. We're into free hockey territory now, Steve, and the next goal, 100% will win this game. Yeah, we're in for uh, an exciting <laughs> overtime here. And, and uh, geez, it's, uh, it's gonna be an exciting one. What a finish to the third period. It looked like the Subarus were well on their way to taking this one home. and. Just a dump in from the center ice, beats Lavoie, and that's not to chirp him at all, it's just describing the game as we see it, but 4-4 tie after three periods. We'll be back with the overtime period when we return, so ladies and gentlemen, now's the time not to go anywhere. All right, folks, welcome back. Overtime period, five on five for 10 minutes. And then you know what happens after that. We know for sure this will not end in a shootout, but next goal wins here. Street lights are on, supper's ready. Mum's calling from the balcony. And it's time to get the action now as the Max will get first touches here in overtime, but it's back the other way here for the Subarus. Burke trying to 
Get it through, good support there from Brennan O'Donnell. So they'll get it in deep. Now back the other way, turned over. McPhee's just gonna tar, fire that at the net there as the rebound comes loose. Walter's gonna send it back into his own zone there as all the Subarus were heading out into the neutral zone to defend. So now the Max are gonna have some good time to break out here as that pass gets through everybody. Walters, and that's why you have your stick on the ice, folks, or kids if you're listening, because he wasn't even looking, but his stick on the ice, and he ended up picking up that pass and gets it in deep. So Subaru's now back with it, macking in. Had to be careful, now he's just gonna chip that off the wall out into the neutral zone, Faustin with it. Faustin, the game-tying goal in the dying minutes from center ice. Now it's gonna be chipped in deep. Schlender's gonna give chase. Prince on there as well. Schlender will get to the puck first. Legier in there as well. Passed out front, but nobody home. Now Sanford's gonna get it up off the glass. It's gonna get it behind fast, and look at Mackinen go. LeBlanc fires it towards the net. Mackinen gets a tip on it. Puck's still loose in behind the net. It's anxious moments once again at the side of the max goal crease. And Schlender with it. He's gonna walk in just up to the blue line. He's gonna get it in deep. Him and Legier will head for a change. Proctor will continue in on the four check. So the puck's in that kind of 50-50 area now as it's gonna be pushed out in the neutral zone. Faustin. It's gonna turn and fire it. And if I'm Faustin, I'm just firing it right on the net at any opportunity you get. So I don't think you're gonna beat Lavoie twice that way. Now is a beautiful stretch pass there for O'Donnell shot there, imagine, with the glove save, but a great saucer pass from Stevens, cross ice. And the first real good save of the overtime goes to Sam Magic here for the Max as he gloves that one down, so an offensive zone faceoff to his right here for the Subarus. Yeah, in overtime, they always say you just want to get that puck to the net. Every shot's a good shot here, and you, know, you never know what can happen. Yes, that's for sure, especially what we've seen in this game so far. A little bit of everything on the goal sheet. The Subarus are going to take possession off the faceoff, back up to the point. Good job to hold the line now. They're just going to fire that off the end wall. And these Subarus players know better than anybody how active these end boards are now as that puck bounces out. Creelman kind of nonchalantly played that puck, but it's turned over now into the right side. Stevens shot there. Oh, and maybe Wagner got a stick on that as a great opportunity for Stevens for the hat trick. And wouldn't that have been the icing on the cake? Now another opportunity. O'Donnell shot there off the post. Rebounds loose. Oh, oh and it rolls through the crease once again as Manders. It's gonna hold the line, back down to the half wall. O'Donnell fires it to the net, tipped in front again. Another opportunity and an even better save there from Magic. Back to the point, shot towards the net. Goes off the end wall and bounces the other side. Subarus are tired, they're gonna head for a change. Wagner's gonna slow things down here for the Max. And that'll allow us to have a breath up here as boy, oh boy, do they have some good looks there. Yeah, some great chances there from Darkman. 7.20 left to go here in the overtime period. One would assume that if this one goes to a second overtime period, there would be a flood. Truen now, he's being pressed from Aiden O'Donnell. He's gonna use his strength and size. He turns it over there just a little bit too far for Brennan O'Donnell. Burke on that loose puck. Shearer pushes it through the middle. Walters tips it to him. Walters down the right side, one on two. Nice move through the legs. Tries to go to the backhand there. Fires it at the neck, gets a shot off. Lavoie, two big crucial saves there. And once again, Walters kind of making something happen out of nothing, one on two, being pressed hard. Makes a nice move, gets it to the net, and they almost get themselves a really good scoring yeah, chance. Yeah, good job getting it to the net there and a, and a good follow up as well. And Couple nice saves there by Lavoie. Yeah, and you know he's gonna have it dialed in a little extra here after giving up that tying goal. We're not gonna harp on it too much more and probably won't bring it up again, but sometimes that's what it takes to really lock in, and he's been really good in this game, so you don't wanna let that kind of overshadow the game so far. Shot from the point. Bolts is gonna fire that up and over. O'Donnell with it, and now it's gonna be played on the offside. Had he had full possession when he turned his body, it would've been all good to go, but puck was up over, or sorry, the stick was up over the puck, so no possession there, and an offside call, and a great call by the linesman, in my opinion, is that's one of those rules that kind of switched over the last decade or so, is back before, if you didn't, if you had possession, it was still offside if your body was in before the puck, but that switched a long time ago now, and I actually made the mistake refing it. I took a breakaway from a guy, and tough way to learn a lesson, but learned it nonetheless, never called it again. So we're back to game play. The let's go Soup's chance, funnel through the building now. Overtime hockey, free hockey, folks. Mackinen didn't have any options, so he just gives it away to the Max there. It's gonna get back down inside their zone. Countway back forward, he's got Schlender on him. Schlender's gonna cut low behind the net. Countway up the ice, Max kinda backing off here. Countway's just gonna chip that in. Countway with an overtime winner to his resume already this year in the Ice Jam semifinal. Maybe looking to Add some more magic to his resume as the Max go back the other way and chip it in deep, head for a change. Lavoie, good heads up there as he's got O'Donnell streaking. O'Donnell didn't have any options as his teammates were heading to the bench. 
As Evans will get in there on that cross corner dump. Now a good shake move there from Truen as he pulled that puck away from pressure. No to harm's way. Back up the ice now. Stretch pass from Marmalock. Marmalock trying to get through a crowd, but it's poked off. And one more move, and he might have been off to the races there, but a good defensive play by the Subaru stops that one from happening as we're down to five and a half left to go. McPhee banked that off the wall. Another chip pass. Turned over Walters. Tries to get it in deep. Dooley had that bounce by him. Manders now just chipped it out into the zone, and... They're not having a play here. These teams not hesitating just to shoot that puck out into the neutral zone, not trying to complete passes or force anything. No, just get it out into the neutral play. zone. The zone. Yep. Coach won't be upset with that, that's no. for sure. So Stevens with it. Chipped off the wall. O'Donnell out into the neutral zone. As we said, Truen now is going to pick it up. He's going to have some space, so he dumps it back in. Lavoie out to play it here. He's going to push it off to the other side. Good heads up there as Hartland and Turner in there on the forecheck. Now a stretch pass looking for O'Donnell. Hits his skate. Now Stevens tried to go back to him. Stevens will whack at it now. Onside, two on four. Max back in full force. O'Donnell shot there, looking for his own rebound. It was blocked on its way to the net, so it wasn't able to get there. So it goes back to the point. Turner unable to get the puck out of the zone. It's Truen, whacks at it. Brennan O'Donnell in there on the forecheck. Aiden O'Donnell, good job there to read that as he fired it through the crease. And good job defensively by the Max as they took and protected the house there. It's Countway trying to get it in deep. Chip on him. Good communication there as Kavanaugh wanted that puck the whole way. Now a nice stretch pass there. Chipped into the middle. Aiden O'Donnell opportunity shot there. And great defensive play by Lindsay as O'Donnell had a glorious opportunity but just couldn't pull the trigger in time. Now as Hartland will take a big bump there from Burke. O'Donnell missed that clear or that dump in attempt. So Faustin's able to get it. He'll send it cross ice for Legier. Legier's going to work, work his way up ice. Chip and go now. He's going to try and get in there first. Kavanaugh. Caught out there, was trying to get a change, but the puck went back the other way. Now as LeBlanc help out defensively. 3.55 left to go here in the first overtime period. Kavanaugh across for Prince. Prince chipped up off the glass out into the neutral zone. Mackinnon is going to get it in deep, but Wagner back for the max here. The captain will pick the puck up in behind the net. He's going to rim it around for Schlender. Schlender, good job to pick that one up and fire that cross ice. Proctor, or the puck was intended for Walters, but it's getting up on the stick of Proctor's. He's going to work in the right side. He's got Prince on him. He stops up, waiting for his recruits. Being pressed there. and Got to send two jerseys there as you look up, and not a whole lot of red jerseys around, so send two blue. They end up getting possession anyway, so no harm done there. As they're going to work their way up ice. Prince is going to get there now. As he had a couple strides to get the red line, but he fires up the left side. Sanford got that in deep. They go for a change. Now stretch pass there. Marmalock always streaking. As Evans now, him and Marmalock tangle up. Puck go through the middle for Dooley. Dooley shot there, was blocked fearlessly. Another opportunity. A big save there from Lavoie, his biggest of the game based on the timing of it. And now we're going to have a penalty here in overtime. And we're going to wait to see what the call is. And it's going to be an interference call and... I didn't really see the play, but in my head, based on the way in the era we grew up in, you basically got to kill a guy in overtime to get a penalty, but looks like the Max are going to have the man advantage here in the first overtime period, and what an opportunity right now, and a no bigger kill than right now, Steve, for the Subarus. No, it's a real big kill here for Dartmouth. And, you know, they want to get in lanes here, as, uh, as you always want to, but it's a little more important here to get in front of some pucks and try to cut those passing lanes down. So anxious moments now. We're on puck watch here. Faustin across for Lindsay. Lindsay will go back up to Faustin. Across for Marmalak on the left side. Marmalak to Faustin. Back to Marmalak. The defense chance starting now. Legier opportunity shot there. Saved by Lavoise. He took that angle right away. It's Faustin now is going to have some time to walk in. He shoots there. What a save, Lavoie. Is Faustin looking for his second of the game? Marmalak will. Settle it down, down low for Legier. They're gonna switch spots now. Back up top to Fawson, trying to cause some confusion. Now back to Legier. Legier, shot there. Pucks at the side of the net. They bang away at it. Steven's gonna have an opportunity here. He's gonna have to hurry. He's got Legier on him, so he's just gonna pick that puck up. And good job to eat as much ice as he could as he gets it in deep now. Two minutes, 10 seconds left to go. If they can kill this off, it'll give them just a little bit of time here at the end of this period. Now it's back the other way. Good exchange there by the Max, Lindsay. Gonna eat some ice, he rims it around the other side. It's gonna go all the way around. Faustin has to hurry, LeBlanc's there. Chipped in behind the net. Now it's gonna be fired the length. The ice, great hand eye there from Lindsay. They were looking for the high stick and definitely not, especially from our view up here, but it's always different at ice level. As Legier is gonna fire it back to the left point for Lindsay. Partner pass for Faustin. Faustin back to Lindsay in the middle of the ice. Puck bounced over his stick, but he maintains possession. The right side, Faustin. Looking for that lane to the net there and McPhee, good stick battle in front. 
She's just going to fire that. The length of the ice. Subers are going to go for a change. Yeah, Magic nice picked up on McPhee it. Nice play there, cutting that passing lane. Yeah, he read that pass like a Dr. Seuss book, as they say, and got his stick into that lane. And sometimes that's all it takes, just enough to throw it off just that half mm -hmm. second or that millimeter, just so you're not able to get a clean shot off now. As Hartland in the zone, he'll stop up. There's 15 seconds left to go in the man advantage. Chip back up top for Truen. Truen will walk the line. He's going to go back over the right side for Hartland. Hartland shot there. Rebounds loose. Lavoie looking for it. They bang away at it. Four seconds left in the power play. Back up top for Truen. Truen's going to have a lane to the net. He shoots. That's tipped. That goes wide. We're back to even strength. Puck stays inside the Subaru zone. As they continue to look for it here, the Max are going to maintain possession. 44 seconds left on the, or on the period. Walter shot there. Blocker save. Lavoie. And that one goes up and out of play. And my, oh my, Steve. What a flurry of action so far. But nothing bigger than that kill for the Subarus as that leaves them 39.7 seconds here to get on the board and win this thing. Yeah, and you know, good pressure there from Halifax. They had their shots they wanted to get through, but uh, great job by Dark with two in the kill. Lavoie did a great job there standing tall, but uh, yeah, lots of action on that penalty kill. So a penalty kill in overtime. They are successful, but the puck will stay inside the zone. A face-off here and a big one as the Subarus are going to take possession here. Prince with it. He's going to fire it back over to McPhee. McPhee's got some ice. He'll fire across ice. Across now for O'Donnell. O'Donnell will walk in. He's going to have a lane to the net there. Shot there. Blocked by True and fearlessly once again. McPhee opportunity. He shoots. Magic the save. Rebound shot. Oh, what a save, Magic. Puck still loose. They score! Brady Burke, the overtime hero. And the Subarus force a game five. They're not going home just yet. And the Subarus faithful are ecstatic with that one. But my, oh my, Steve, before we get to the goal, what an absolutely fantastic save by Magic there. He made two point blank uh, desperation saves and wasn't able to make the third one, but man, what a sequence there as the Subarus force a game five. Yeah, no, some great saves, but uh, you know, Dark was stuck with it there in front. And a great goal by Burke. I'm, I'm sure that might be one of the biggest ones he's uh, he's had to date, but that was uh, you know, a huge goal here. And she's what a, just a great game of hockey. Um, you know, now we got uh, we got a game five all on the line, so it's it's great uh, as a fan. It's great for us. We get to watch another one, another game in this series. But you know, we got two great teams here, and just just a great uh, great hockey game. You can't draw it up any better than this, Steve. The top two seeds in the regular season going yep. the distance in the league final, both trying to solidify a banner into their rink and head into the Atlantic as the number one seed. But boy, oh boy, like you said, as a fan, tomorrow we'll get to sit back as fans, watch the game, game five, slate it, 6.30 tomorrow night at the Halifax Forum. We'll see you guys there. We thank you very much for tuning in. It was a great game that we were treated to, and as they say, it's cliche, Steve, but the fans were the winners here in this one. As the game finishes 5-4, Brady Burke, overtime hero for the Subarus. That's going to do it here for High Button Sports. Myself, Steve Dixon, we thank you very much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you at the rink tomorrow night.